Evening. Can you actually hear us? It's going to be question number one. Yeah, no. Because, Hello. holy, the nightmare that was setting up the audio. Like, the no, other two no, 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 no. No. Don't you. Don't you, you, mate, don't we, you. We are, we are 30 seconds in. You. Don't you start. <laughs> it's all you, mate. We're like, oh, we'll let AC do the first one. He'll get it right. You know what I mean? Right, the, the worst part is, I did. It worked yesterday, and then all we did was turn it on. It's like, oh, for f- <laughs> yeah. Should have never God. turned it off. Just yeah. stayed on that call the whole day. We were all like, oh, well. oh Aaron can do the first vodcast. That way there's not going to be any issues. 15 I mean, minutes in. What, what? Are we live? Can they hear us? We're 10 minutes do we live. have, do we have a nice got... new overlay? I, did, I do believe we do, so you can shut up. <laughs> anyway, good evening. So for those that haven't been around for this before, um, you been you, very you, quiet. Apparently, I'm very quiet. My audio's that's, all the way up. That's that's a good unlike thing. it. <laughs> for those that haven't, <laughs> for those that haven't been around before, uh, we used to do this a little while ago. Uh, so we've brought it back, form of a vodcast, pretending to paint, uh, themed apps. Given none of us actually do anything productive in front of camera anyway. So for, for those that haven't seen us before. Uh, we're through to a quick intro. So my name's Aaron, or AC Miniatures. Above me, we've got Liam. Mm, that's like Phoenix Miniature Art. And then Ginge is Chris wait, wait, wait. <laughs> can I just Can I just add one thing to my introduction? <laughs> there we go. You... Now it's an AC mini stream. <laughs> Yeah, mine's not strong enough. No. It's also very dead. I have to break a fan for that bit. Let's carry on. So yeah, so this is the first first one back. It's a little bit more uh, relaxed. Not quite as, uh, shall we say, planned as we'd like them to be in future. But it's just a sort of test run just to make sure everything is actually working, etc, etc. Say hello to everyone again. Go over where we've been what we've been up to for those that haven't seen people around, etc, etc. We'll have a quick chat about competition stuff, because that seems to be the uh, topic of pretty much every stream and display painter going at the moment. Um, One of us even managed to get to a competition uh, with a few stories, so we'll let Chris tell some of those as well. Um, But before we get to that, we'll go through a bit of, I guess, housekeeping and how we kind of want things to run and how this is going to work in future and what we'd like it to be and things like that, I guess. So in terms of housekeeping, obviously the first one's being hosted here. Um, In future, we will alternate. So it'll probably be between me and Chris on Twitch, occasionally with Liam, uh, as and when we can't host for whatever reason. We don't trust Um, Liam. (laughs) I mean, that (laughs) is fair. Not wrong. Um... (laughs) But then the VODs afterwards will be taken up down, or rather downloaded from Twitch, and Liam's going to host them all on YouTube. So if you miss a VOD or you're not around or whatever, go to go to Liam's YouTube. will be the best place to find it. Um, in terms of format, for those that were around before, it's going to be pretty much the same. For those that weren't around before, it's mostly just going to be us pretending to be professional, but probably just chatting absolute nonsense and getting distracted and borderline abusing each other and chat um we've got a few topics already lined up for future um and we've also been toying with the idea with time it won't be straight out the gate but after a little while once we get comfy and you know just see how it goes uh, maybe getting some other people involved as well um so at some point we'll open uh, either a channel in one of our discords or something where you lot can just throw ideas in for topics you'd like us to see cover uh, or people you'd like us to see if we can convince to spend more than 30 seconds with us. Um, anything else that you guys want to add? I've asked. I think you pretty much know. Um, yeah, I've had two you. people message me saying, why is it? Why is the initials PZP? So that's what we're <laughs> so We should, should probably say what the name is at this point, isn't it? Pretending to paint. <laughs> So it's meant yeah. to be a two. I will let Sarah know that you are very upset. Don't let Sarah know. Sarah's done enough. <laughs> 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 Everyone can just deal with it. 
<laughs> I think I think she'd have a small aneurysm if I went. So chat said it was a Z. <laughs> this is where she's actually watching right now. She's, she's, she's not home. She's out with some okay. friends at the minute. Of course, uh, Sarah did it. It looks good. <laughs> <laughs> As if we would, have, as if any of us would have the the like the wherewithal to come up with all of this. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Is a miracle we remember turn remember to turn on the camera? Let alone. Oh, she oh, shit, she's here. <laughs> oh shit, she is. Everyone it's be Sarah. nice. Cry has said bad things about your logo, um, but anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> so, yeah, as I said, for this evening, and we're going to keep it fairly relaxed um but obviously competitions have been the uh the big one um whole load of new competitions yeah, coming up uk is getting a c yeah um oh, am i happy hold on i've got massive news i forgot i have huge news that i feel like everyone should know and i feel a little bit dirty right you're getting that personality transplant this is this no, is I'm not about special, mate. this isn't about the whole like pasties underneath the vest thing again is <laughs> I'm it i'm not gonna live that down am i no, <laughs> right so I don't go back hold on. <laughs> see oh, this no no put that away <laughs> put it away you right. cretin just just i'm really disappointed it's not even just his paints there's like rubbish in there i've ordered some paint <laughs> Probably got a dead rat in there as well. And I, it's gonna be gone. I feel really bad. What do you mean it's gonna be go uh, gone? As in because you're gonna tidy you're up, or gone racks. because you're getting rid? So yeah, I've ordered some paint racks. I'm gonna attempt to be organised. I believe it when I see it. Well, I've ordered them. All right, they go on the yeah. wall. Yeah. You're gonna be able to see it behind me. So. Okay, you so just them to, all the way behind you. So. Yeah, I was just about to say. So we're like, I'm going to organise my paint space by putting it all the way over here. That's <laughs> so what I'm going back in that rack. like right here. <laughs> He's just got to throw him behind him and try and get him in. No, do you know what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to take the paint racks out of the box and then I'm just going to pour the paints into the box, the new box. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I, I mean, this was really important. Everyone triggers when they see my bag of paints. It yeah. always makes it worse when you're trying. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> like it would, yeah. It's 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 so much worse watching you try to be tidy rather than just admitting you are what you are and there's no fix in it. Right? It's like watching you try and fix your own stream. It just doesn't end well. Mate, I'm so confused by that. It works on every other scene, right? <laughs> every other scene, I have music. The one scene for Twitch, there's no music. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm so confused. And the settings are the same, right? It's like three buttons. So, first question for the chat. Um, is anyone good at teaching old people how to deal with technology? Because <laughs> uh, we could do with some help. Shut your face. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he literally has several people, like regulars, that are quite literally IT professionals, or, <laughs> heaven forbid, he asks another bloody streamer how to fix it. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's asking fine. them for help is like torture, though. It's not fair on them. It's not fair on people like Peckish. Yeah, I thought. Do you know what the thing is, right? So, so like, I could message, I could message Fox to that tonight, and he'd be like, "No worries, man. I'll sort all out for you tomorrow." I feel really bad when I get these people to fix it because, like, even I understand I'm a fucking nightmare, right? <laughs> Oh, I don't want to ask people. For the first time in my life, I've actually agreed with you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably the last. Wait, yeah. the the nightmare bit or the 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 unfair bit? A bit of both. Bit of column A, bit of column B. <laughs> just just wanted to clarify. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go on. All right, so what what paint racks? Uh, I don't know, grey ones. Well, that's helpful. <laughs> So, so I think it was I think it was Travis who put some nail varnish racks that go on the wall in the Discord. Right. Okay. And yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. oh, they look really good. So I ordered some of those. Okay. So, right. so let me put this together. So you grew your hair out long. You're getting yeah. paint racks on the wall. Is this <laughs> no, is this how you think you're going to win in Golden Demon by copying AC with those uh, things? 
Oh, rude. So I've got the hair and I don't feel Fucking any better as a painter yet. Rude. I'll have you know. Hold on, hold on a second, what, what, mate. What? Hang on. You're never going to paint any better if you don't fucking paint. <laughs> God, I've finished four <laughs> models this week, you prick. <laughs> four models? Picks. I mean, top. let's be perfectly honest. We yeah, all know, I was about to say, picks. We, we picks all didn't happen. Know, we all know Aaron's G got, uh, demon was a fluke, right? Just point out there. See? <laughs> I mean, you could have had a fluky one as well if you bothered to do true map properly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't even argue with it because it's true. <laughs> uh, no, it's me. I have not. <laughs> oh, wait, what's this? Uh, have you finished someone else's bust, Chris? Um, I'm sorry, I may have given away a bust today, as part of a giveaway. Mm -hmm. um, but she said, oh, you can just give it to me next time we meet up, which I think is going to be in like April. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I'll finish in March. <laughs> Do I think not, it makes perfect sense? Yeah. I mean, yes, all right, logically it makes sense. I'm not entirely sure that that's in the spirit of it, but sh well, <laughs> sure, okay. What was the bust? A uh, little uh, sort of dishonoured looking guy with a very long face. Um, I'll, uh, right. I'll show pictures. Cheers, I'll mate. DM that you. narrows it down loads. <laughs> all right, mister, what, what paint ranks did you get? Grey ones. There you go. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. There's not a technical name for like paint racks, is there? You could have said nail polish rack. <laughs> yeah. There you enough. go. He's mostly done. Really? See. I mean, only if you plan on sending Esme a pile of shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe let's paint a bunch of spiders over it. That'll make it better. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, enough of Liam's Titanic fuck ups. Let's talk about something else. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second, Mr. Lord of the Rings. I deserve to win with a four hour paint job. And I did, because I won a fucking <laughs> SMC. Oh, well, 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 oh, hang on, hang on. I mean, uh, I was about to say, sp point number one, yeah, spoilers. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, I, well. I guess they're. I'm pretty the... sure they felt sorry for him, to be honest with you. <laughs> just like go, going around, they just see one in the corner. It's just like, oh yeah, sod it. Just it's fine. <laughs> but go on, and Chris, tell us about SMC. Yeah, tell everyone okay. what you didn't do. Okay, so I've got a great story. Um, so anyone that's not been to SMC or any of these uh, competitions, you have to put these stickers on your models. And I saw this guy, very handsome, very good painter. I saw this guy not put them on his entries. Um, and he found out at 9 p.m. on Saturday night, bear in mind judging finishes on, on Saturday, that if you don't put the stickers on, your models don't get judged. So I was thinking, this guy's a total fucking idiot. However, come Sunday, um, turns out they did get judged in the end after I went there and did a little bit of an X Factor sob story to uh, the people running the... Uh, competition <laughs> and I got two medals one for the model and Glop Indoor of all the fucking models and one from a completely different competition which I thought was a pity a pity medal it was turns out I got two pity medals <laughs> <laughs> like it's... a win's a win I mean I've never ever heard of someone su managed to win a competition from a different country that they didn't enter and then win at the competition which they turned up to but forgot to enter mm -hmm. in the yeah, same boy. weekend. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah. You know. I think it's probably worth pointing out, like, for all of our banter, congrats, mate. Like, genuinely, I'm really happy for you. You Thank are you. an idiot, though. Oh, no. oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they felt sorry for me and probably because I was ginger as well. So it's like extra pity points. Do you know what? Honestly, at it. this point, I don't think being ginger is your biggest problem. <laughs> That's a hot take. <laughs> I think you've got bigger issues, mate. <laughs> yeah, like who would choose as friends? <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> Whoa, hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Don't let me got, in with him. Got a little bit of crossfire there, AC, sorry. Yeah, I was about to say, I was, I was just sat here, like, stay out of this one. Nope, still get... Still You've always been very okay. supportive of me and how I do in Golden Demon, you know, so yeah. <laughs> I'll never say anything about <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
fuck's sake. <laughs> anyway. Right. So, other than your dumbassery, like, in all seriousness, congrats. Well happy for you, mate. How was SMC? Tell us about it. It was really fucking good. Um, I wasn't really know. I wasn't really knowing what to expect. Um, I thought there'd be a few little traders, and um, a lot of models entered, but not three thousand models entered between six hundred people. You could yeah. have spent a day walking around seeing them all. And when I say seeing them, I actually mean being able to see them. They're not in a bloody cabinet with horrible top-down lighting where you can't see shit. Mm -hmm. You can actually go up, look very closely, take pictures. Obviously, you can't pick them up, but if you find the people that do it, probably they'll let you. Um, but you can really get in close and actually see what people have been up to. And when you've got 3,000 models between, you know, historical, fantasy, fantasy ambient, flats now is a category, uh, you really get a, a real uh, spread of, of uh, inspiration, let's call it, um, but also um defeat <laughs> defeatism <laughs> you just realize how fucking good these models are up close uh but it was good like and you could actually get to see them as well you didn't have to wait too long in a big awkward queue which is uh obviously anyone who went to warhammer fest will know what i'm talking about um yeah so when i when i mentioned there is a couple of traders there were a fuck ton of traders there was like two big halls of like uh People selling oh, pretty much all the big sort of 75 mil bus brands out there, you know, Chimera, uh, Mindwork, uh, Big Child. Um, and there's, I'd say there's probably something for everyone. And a good testament to that is Lara actually bought a model while she was there. Lara okay. paints once every six months. So you think I was bad. What she bought? So she walked away with something. She bought a. Um, it's a company called Blacksmith Miniatures, I think. Yeah. Um, and it's like a little dude sleeping in a little sardine tin. Um, oh, I know the one. It's like, like a little borrowers. gnome dude, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just looking at Yeah, this exactly. Up. Yeah. Um, it's, it's wicked. Uh, so what got me even was Lara the is a very on Instagram casual who were like, how are they going to put it. all of their models in the bags on the way home? Like, how are they going to get yes. the customs I, uh, so many models? Was it, uh, I think it was Goldfinch? Yeah, one yeah, of her, so. yeah. yeah, one of her stories. Um, she like, did well. <laughs> it's, well, yeah. <laughs> in, in I mean, both in comp, the, uh, but I mean, you know. Yeah, both in both the competition sense and also the uh, that's a hell of a haul. Because mm, um, yeah. she, she was saying she had to like sit on the suitcase to actually get it to close. Cheers, Diddy. <laughs> that was brave yeah. of all resin miniatures in there. Yeah. I, I, I did think that. I was like, you see, I mean, that on a mountain fair, of resin. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> she's only small like I love Lisa she's a good friend <laughs> but she's only little she weren't going to break those resin miniatures <laughs> I'm just putting it out there and she did buy a lot of flats so well it's the it's the flats I'd be I'm actually that there are two two categories in particular that I didn't really pay I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's not I wouldn't say I didn't pay much attention to but I never really thought about and well, I thought about uh, flats after Fen, mm -hmm. but especially at SMC, I'd have been really keen to see the flats and also the ambient stuff. I think flats is a really interesting one, isn't it? Because as a general rule, you don't really think, "Oh, I'm going to paint a flat," but when you see a good one, it's mm. like, "Holy crap, is that nice?" Yeah, because like, some of the flats that were at Fen were <laughs> seriously good. Yeah, yeah, seriously, that's the reason why it got best for show. doing depth. <clears throat> yeah. Um, any... let's speak, speaking of, sorry, uh, Goldfinch, um, it was kind of cool. Uh, I met a lot of people that I wouldn't get to meet, obviously, here. So a lot of you based in uh, the Netherlands and um, Belgium, which is good. Um, but because the the event itself is in basically a hotel, just a little bit out of the way of like Eindhoven itself. Mm -hmm. um, and no offense to anyone from Eindhoven, but there's absolutely fuck all to do in Eindhoven. So if you're going to SMC... <laughs> <laughs> make sure you get a hotel or stay at the hotel that the event is being held at because there's there's not a lot around uh we we struggled to find a few pubs i won't lie we did obviously successfully um but it's a massive it's a massive uh hotel so uh pretty much everyone that was there was for the convention 
so you see a lot of big names just walking about, which leads me to my next story. Okay. The restaurant. Oh, this is the fanboy <laughs> story. I've heard this, no, but no, I'm yeah. not exaggerating. <clears throat> Four times, right? Chris's. This is literally Chris's claim yep. to fame. Four times, he's told yep. us this story, and I'm pretty sure he's tried to tell us twice more, and we've headed him off. Right? So just just let him get out. We'll get on with it. I'm sorry. We I'm we, sure. we 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 what? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We, we're talking about the same thing. <laughs> 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 words. Phrasing. <laughs> anyway. We went to go to a restaurant. Um, uh, we let this guy out. He's walking out as we were going in. Um, Lara, Lara told me, oh, he's an old guy. Let's let him go through first. <laughs> Turns out it's fucking Eric Swinson leaving the building. <laughs> Sorry, Eric. <laughs> and he brushed he brushed your hand, didn't he? Chris he hasn't did. washed and now, since. Now I can paint car shadows. <laughs> Wouldn't that involve you actually painting a model? Oh, I did it in my head. That counts. <laughs> <laughs> I've got ideas. They count. <laughs> Say nothing. <laughs> so, I guess on that note then, there were some standout entries, for sure, uh, SMC. Mm. Uh, even from over here, when we were looking at them, sort of, as the as they, the post started going up, there were some definite standouts that everyone was talking about. Mm. So we've picked out a few that, I mean, a lot of them will not be a surprise. It's like, yeah, go figure. Um, and then there were a few that Chris specifically picked out. What with Chris having been there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we'll have seen other things that you know we wouldn't have necessarily seen um, that kind of slip under the radar a little bit. So should we go and have a look at? Some favourites. Do it. See yeah. some models. I will say, Fortunately, I, I was really surprised them. by Best of Show. Yes. And actually, annoyingly, I was trying to find like a good picture of yeah. Best in Show. Mm-hmm. Can't find it. Yeah. yeah. I've seen it, but I can't find it. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing anyway, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk yeah. about Best in Show anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, on that note, if we move across. Surprising. Precisely no one. Yeah. Mr. Swenson. Who did get best in show, but not with this. That was the this, surprise. That was the surprise. Yep. This yeah. is like I know I didn't see it in person. Um, but how did this not get best in show? I don't know. <laughs> Everyone was talking about understand. this all day. Kind of like people were talking about that giant at Golden Demon last year. Yeah, 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 yeah. One piece stands out and people just think it's mm. nails on for. Yeah. winning the best of. You know, it's like you go to an event and normally 90% of the time there's one piece where everyone just goes best in show. Like it's standout. When you go to an event and there's two or three, it's like you, it's, it's really special. But this was the one, wasn't it? Everywhere you saw it, it was like, how is this not best in show? Yeah. Like, it's amazing. It, it, it's, it's nuts. And the mm-hmm. bit that you can't fully appreciate from the images here. And I, did, I didn't actually notice it immediately. It wasn't until I saw, I think it was Andy Wardle's post mm-hmm. of it, actually on the on the shelf. I was like, oh, wait, that's in a frame. Yep. So the, the black cutout around it is the picture frame. And I didn't notice it initially. Um, yep. Like, it's quite literally, a, it, it's art at that point. It's in a frame. Mm-hmm. It's art. Yeah. It's framed <laughs> as if it's a canvas, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's Which I didn't, I did, as I said, I didn't spot it, but... I don't know if I trust my ability to hang on a wall. It seems too precarious. <laughs> Mate, could, yeah, you, could you imagine? Could you imagine? Like, <laughs> not a chance. You'd never open a window, would you, in case of a breeze blew it off? <laughs> yeah, you come come home from work or something, and it's just like in, on the floor in a hundred pieces. It's just like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be interested to. Uh, I'd, I'd have been interested to see this pre-paint. I think there was a sculpt picture somewhere from the, yeah. uh, the guy who I mean, did sculpt I, it. I love seeing the greens on anything, to be honest with you, right? Mm. Like, I don't, I don't care what it is. As a general rule, I love to see them pre-paint because it's that point where you can go, like, you, you can just see the different interpretations. You know what it's like as a painter when you look at a sculpt and you go, oh, this is, this is what I would do, this is what you could do. Something like this, you look at it in paint and go, there's nothing else that can be done because it's, yeah. just, it's just great. But when you look at the green, when you look at the sculpt, all of a sudden you're like, actually, there's lots of things that could have been done with this. I appreciate this is just a copy, not a copy, is that's not fair, but it's it's a re it's an interpretation of the artwork from the magic cards. 
Um, but yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. All right. And Fluid in chat has actually just dug out a pretty damn good image of the goblins. Yeah. So. And I want to point out, so so before everyone starts thinking that I'm, I'm hating on these, these are lovely, right? They're genuinely lovely. Mm. And they deserve to win. But I just don't understand how these are not best in show, how these are best in show when the other ones aren't. When I the other one isn't. It's, it's going to be one of those... <sighs> The, the judges see where, more than us. Yeah, like yeah. they see things we don't, and yeah. I, I think you'd have to have a proper look at them, like pick them mm. up, have a real proper look to figure out what differentiated them. And it would be mm. interesting to hear. I mean, not that not that you'd ever hear this, but it'd be interesting to hear what the judges decided made this better, whether it was technical or whether it was artistic. Um, mm. Like, well, Rich yeah. is saying apparently. <clears throat> There was something with a rule that made this win instead of the others. I don't know what that Ooh. is or anything like that, but that's interesting. Considering it's rare when a rule causes any kind of judging interaction yeah. based on an open comp. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's unusual. That is unusual. But it'd be because, like, they're just there as it is. I prefer the spider. Oh, mate, so do I. Like, they're both stunning, but. Yeah. If you said to me, which one do you want? Spider. Mm -hmm. There'd be no hesitation. Definitely Spider. Um, although I will say, I, something I'd be interested to see the process of was the um, uh, the, the wood, like the, the branches they're stood on. Mm -hmm. to see if that, I mean, they've got to be tufts, but... Yeah, they look like moss tufts. Yeah. It'd be interesting mm -hmm. to see what, what he actually used. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's lovely. Don't get me wrong, but how the other one didn't, I, I don't care. The other one should have got best in show. I just yeah. don't understand it. <laughs> just don't get it. <laughs> Oof. So I am. the other, the other one that was a big standout and I heard a lot, a lot of people talking about it mm -hmm. was this one. Mate, I, right. Uh, yeah. I, I just need to go off on a fanboy moment, right? Mm. There are, there's a lot of painters that I really like. There are very few who I'm truly obsessed with, like proper fanboy. Shadows of Colour, I adore this dude's work, right? Yeah. Or ladies, I don't know. But seriously, Matt, this is just amazing. I know a few people have said to me they're like they just don't get it or they're, they're not a fan. Uh, it's oh, just no. incredible. I, I absolutely love this guy's work. No, absolutely no. incredible. It's beautiful. This was... Um, this was... In terms of where it was in the stand, it's about this big, by the way. Um, it was next to a, another similar piece, which I couldn't find a picture of. Uh -huh. um, but just both of those together was like super um, eye-catching, particularly yeah. this one. Yeah, this is this was one of the, like this and the spider. Mm -hmm. I think were the two for me. I, it's it's really interesting because for me, like I see so many pieces these days where I'm like, Do you know what? That's amazing. That's really nice. And you can appreciate the paint job. There's very few pieces these days where it actually inspires me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Where I'm like, I need to sit down and I need to pull my finger out and I need to paint. I need to get back to really trying to push myself. And and this is one of the few this year, right? That that's actually done this. It's incredible. Yeah. It's, Look at that light placement. It's, we talked it's about just it's it's so so good. I can't find a yeah. single thing to even like begin to critique <laughs> it's just yeah. like nah it's fine <laughs> i was gonna yeah. say um the whole last year last two years we've talked a lot about backdrops being the new meta but this mm -hmm. kind of takes it to that next level where it, the backdrop's actually part of or more in in uh aligned with what's happening like it's part of it i can't i can't explain it how i'm trying to Think of I think it in my head, but maybe yeah. like backdrops became. I think meta is probably the right way of saying it, but they they almost became forced. So people were enforcing them yeah. on pieces when they didn't need them. Whereas in yeah. this is very much, without the backdrop, you lose everything. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, so. it needs it. It's, it's part it, of it. It's yeah. the same. It's the same debate around basing, right? It's mm. but just to the extreme where, you know, when we're talking about other. Like Golden Demon, right? Basing always comes up in that, and we, we can touch on it later. But like, it should always elevate a piece. It should never, ever, ever be about the base. And then you mm -hmm. get stuff like this, where you're taking that to the extreme, and it almost flips mm -hmm. it. But yeah. if you've got a backdrop where 
you're having to try and justify its existence. It probably shouldn't be there. Yeah, agreed. But this one is just ridiculous. Yeah, it's beautiful. Like, I, I, like even the just the backdrop on its own, mm. like let alone the mini in front of it. Yeah, I mean, I must I like I am biased with this guy's work. Like I, I am biased as a general rule. Anything they do, I'm just like, it's it's it's, it's stunning. Yeah. So I'm probably not the best true judge of this. <laughs> no, I mean I, I, as I said, it was it was the spider and this for me. Yeah. I These want to do the... something like this. Like I, I I've I've got I, I want to do something like this. This makes well, me want to do something where it's really like crazy light interactions, really atmospheric. Um and that that this is this is the piece that makes me want to do that. And that says something, I think, about someone's work. You, you already have. I do! <laughs> a, you have a potential piece for this. <laughs> I was so scared of that model. <laughs> Yeah. As soon as you started talk, saying that, I was like, I know exactly which one you should do that with. That's exactly what I'm mm. doing it with, but I'm terrified. Yeah. Have I'm fun. So terrified. I know. I know. You just you've do just it. told everyone that you're doing it now, so now you have. To. Everyone yeah. knows I bought it, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah, but matter. now that's, but, that's yeah, not ev- a secret. Yeah, but everyone knew you'd bought it, but now everyone's heard you say you're going to do a crazy backdrop with lighting that interacts I mean, with it. I'll tell everyone what I'm doing with it if you want. Like I'm not fast because the thing with this is, and I'll, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna freely admit this right now, it's probably gonna be a disaster, right? Like it's it's because basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint her underwater. No yeah. no resin, no nothing. I'm gonna paint it as if she's sinking underwater, and the light is gonna be shining through the water. Yeah. Um, and then to top it all off, what I would like to do which is probably going to like, it's just not going to happen is as if there's like a, a burning ship above. Ooh. So it's not even just normal light. It's also going to have reds and everything coming through as well. So it's so wildly yep. like difficult. The chances are it's going to be a disaster and I'm fine with that. But the fact that this inspires me to do something like that says everything about this piece. Yeah. Yep. I mean th- that, so I I kind of knew you were going to do the underwater thing, and uh, Liam, mm-hmm. if you if you've got a link to it, if you yeah, just yeah. ping it across, then I'll I'll add it to the the queue. Um, yeah. yeah, I knew about the underwater thing, but uh, the burning shipwreck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mad. <laughs> so I, I know how. Just it's just madness. And at the end of the day, if I come out of it with just a finished model, I'll be over the moon. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not expecting miracles. I'm not expecting it to be a game changer, but yeah. Uh, I've sent you the link for the video on Instagram. Ah, right. Okay. And I always butcher Uh, the name, but the the sculptor is Layla, Leela. But I mean, just, yeah, right. We'll wait until it comes up and then we'll talk about it. (laughs) We'll wait till we get there. (laughs) Yeah, well, I've got it queued when we're talking about other comp stuff. So I've got the the window open. Uh, Yeah. But sticking with SMC, the next one. So this is one of Chris's picks. I didn't actually see this one until Chris sent it across as a link. I completely missed this. This is great because I always forget what I post. So this is a surprise oh, to me. Oh, who uh, was yeah. this, this one? Whose was this one? Uh, Who's was this uh, one? Mill- I forget the name. Or's... Millhouse. 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 I've just yeah, the one from Simpsons. In, uh, in yeah. I really like this. I mean, they're a great painter anyway. This really stood out, even on like the back shelf. Um, cause I'd seen it, um, I seen a picture of it before, mm-hmm. um, I went to SMC, mm-hmm. so I was kind of somewhat hunting for it. Um, and it's impressive, like, uh, all the texture work, all the fur work, um, like it's very concentrated light in this piece. So it's very visually pleasing to look at. Mate, that, the um, texture in this, right? Like it just gives me a semi. <laughs> right, it's so good, man. Like... Liam is a fairy confirmed. <clears throat> <laughs> to be honest, I'm surprised you can still get one at your age. No. <laughs> Mate, I'm not even older than you, surely. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're like 38. I get fucked. I'm 36. <laughs> rude, I'm sure the difference. Now, this is, I mean, I, I'd, be, I'd be interested to see this in person. Yeah, because the color in it looks so so potent, mm. but then there's always the I mean, case in point like we all we all see it happen, right? You put something in front of a black backdrop and it looks totally different. 
So I'd be very interested to see this in mm. the hand. Because I, I wouldn't be surprised if the texture becomes more obvious without it. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Do you know what annoys me about this, about Millhouse? I'm just going to call him Millhouse from now on from Simpsons. Do you know what annoys me about their work, right? Is as soon as they do something, you know it's them. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a bit like Colwell, right? And you're yeah. just like, yeah, you're a sod. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But yeah. It is nice though. How, um, how big is this? It's, it's got to be big. 75 mil. Well, that's yeah. what I was just thinking. Like, if it's a 75. Even as a piece. Mm. Yeah. If it's, it's like 75, big. and that's a... That cat's huge. Yeah. That's a massive piece. Mm -hmm. I'm always jealous of people who have got World of Warcraft sculpts, right? I haven't played World of Warcraft in, like, over a decade. But I want one of these cats. I want... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, night elf cats, whatever they're called. Just, mate, all these models are always the nuts. One-to-one. -one. Yeah. yeah. One, wait, one-to-one? One-to-one. Oh, I thought oh. you meant like <laughs> one to one <laughs> size. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. I want to ride it. <laughs> <laughs> so, talking of massive pieces, this next one's got. To, I mean, again, I would love to see this one in person. You'd love to see this massive piece in person. This, yes, this <laughs> massive piece, yes, I would. Mm. He calls it his I mean, will. I mean, I'm a big, big, big fan of resin pores like anytime i find an excuse for it i'll, I'll do it really that is i know shocking <laughs> just like I, I, have you also heard that i really enjoy painting the color pink but, like, <laughs> not sure if you're aware. Oh. Um, but the resin pour on this is mm. lawless this yeah. has to be a vacuum job like there's no you way. reckon it's a bit like the same as the same way as uh clayton. what's his face did it clayton yeah there. it's gotta be there's no way you get a pour this big and it's that clear. So I yeah. think um, Richard posted a whip of this. Ah. I'm going to send it to you. Uh, there you go. It's the same one. So there are two, there are two Moby Dick pieces which are really cool. There is this one. Yeah, Martin and then there's one, one, one well, which is kind of coming out of a, a book. Yeah, yeah, that's, oh, um, yeah. that's Martin from Fenn. Martin's, yeah. Huh. That must that must have been brutal for Martin as well though, because it's one of those things where you got this great idea, you execute it amazingly, you turn up to the show, and then someone else has got the same idea, and it's like, fuck, <laughs> like, <laughs> the most terrifying thing ever. Do you know what I mean? You spend a whole year doing a piece, and then it's like, yeah. oh, it's not unique. So that's the whip, which is interesting, because mm. I that foam has got to be a placeholder. The hell that boat's built out. But of I don't know. Yeah, surely. How, I, it's just the mechanics of this. I don't get it. <laughs> I saw this and I thought, I understand it less now. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I, I thought I knew how they did it, and then I saw that. I was like, nope, okay, I don't get it now. No, yeah. I'm too stupid to understand. But it looks the nuts. <laughs> That's about the extent of my understanding. I've been how did they get the foam so clear? <laughs> Cryo, you twat. <laughs> 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 lots and lots of polish, mate. <laughs> it's the fact that the cool. whole thing is scratch built. Because in, yeah. in the whip, when you look, uh, look, all of the little sailors are just little tiny, um, oh god, like wireframe jobs. They're not. This is all yeah. hand sculpted. Yeah. Which is completely mad. Oh well, uh, Rich has again uh, solved the mystery. With some uh, more widths. Ah, hang on. Yeah, I can see the link. Let's have a look. Yeah, that looks grim. He looks used like a lathe as well. Jesus. Holy. Well, okay, yeah, this is. <laughs> Liam. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? That looks you have like a similar bucket at home, do you? <laughs> I've seen this on um, embarrassing bodies. Is that next to your fucking bin of paints? <laughs> oh man! Oh yeah, it definitely gets worse. Yeah, no, no. This is what I was talking about. This yeah. is like 
Yeah. Yeah. I, for, uh, I was kind of looking at it. I thought, like, what are you on about? And then, then I saw that. I was like, oh, okay, right. <laughs> now I get it. So this, so this is how I picture your, your rinse pot. On your really? desk. Oh, <laughs> when you were like, yeah, I'll, maybe yeah. I'll change my paint water at some point in the month. It was like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, could you um, could you imagine doing this and then the, the poor failed? Yeah, honestly, oh, I I would not have the patience, the sanity, or... On, like, I know this might sound a bit harsh, but true uh, intelligence to pull this off, right? It's just... The whole thing is just completely beyond me. Oh, yeah. There's the lathe. Jesus Christ. Frog. <laughs> like there's, there's us like literally sat here like oh, I use a I use a little bit of like plastic uh plastic ca- uh, the wrapper down, from from Tesco and then he's like yeah, oh. <laughs> full silicon mold and a lathe. So yeah. okay. all of a sudden uh, I've lost yeah, all one of those respect for him. This is yeah. listen, this is this oh. is shit. All of a sudden I lost <laughs> all respect. It's not hand sculpted, it's not hand sanded or anything. Nope, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> not yeah. enough mate Cheated. a lathe is a cheating tool yeah. just like an airbrush <laughs> yep 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 this is up there with these dudes that use airbrushes what yeah. a twat how very dare <laughs> <laughs> now hell. the next no, one amazing, was another one that wait 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 actually... just, be- just before we do sorry uh, oh, yeah. Frog has a good question mm. um, do you think they get bonus points for doing the entire sculpt on top of doing the painting I would suspect not technically, because there is a sculpting mm. category. Yeah. But a lot of people brought custom sculpts. Yeah. I... I... Go on, Aaron, you first. I was going to say, I think, I don't think you would explicitly get points because you sculpted it, but you would, I think it would be fair to say it would put you in better standing because your composition could be stronger. Mm-hmm. So it's a similar issue to what we see with Golden Demon stuff, right? When you see bespoke sculpts in categories, and the bespoke sculpt is just objectively better mm-hmm. than the yeah. the stock model, if all things are equal, right? So the paint jobs are exactly the same standard, exact like they are flawless. But you've got a bespoke model with really good composition, and one that's not as strong compositionally. Mm. The bespoke one's going to win. My understanding is you absolutely do. So I remember, I think it was, I think it was Thor who sent me the, all the SMC stuff. And when I remember going over it, it had an element in there for custom, custom work, custom sculpts. What I would yeah, say though, is Diddy it is a gamble. All well. oh, right, Diddy's, yeah, fair enough. What I would say though, is it is still a gamble because if mm. you do it and you make it worse or it's not better, it's just going to cost you. Yeah. So it's, it's one of those things is a bit of a trade off. Same as, same as a shit base, right? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's got to be worthwhile. There's also, as as there is always that wow factor of, I haven't seen that before. Yeah. There's always that as well. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we've we've all seen that. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, we saw it at Fenn with Martin's uh, Moby Dick. We yeah. saw it at Golden Demon with Clayton's uh, Gargan and with uh, Albert's uh, Elf, etc., etc. Like yeah. the ones that are unique, which make you stop and go, how did they do that? Are the ones that typically everyone ends up talking about mm-hmm. so yeah i didn't realize that you in smc it is just straight up rewarded that's fair i don't disagree with it no i don't either if it's in the judging metrics, then I have no issues read the it. comments and not laugh jim you're fucking grim by the way right <laughs> sort what did I miss? Out, mate. hang on what did i miss where is it where is it jim's response i can't even be bothered to gap fill unless it's chris's gap then i'll definitely <laughs> fill it <laughs> it's the wig oh, isn't it you know I'm confused. Mate, I can't believe oh, you're boy. still wearing it. That must be itchy. Yeah, mate. Like, I am so sweaty and so itchy. Take it off then, you bell end. And so is my upstairs. <laughs> uh... <laughs> right. All right, that's uh, that's enough yeah. for Chris. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is cool. I really like this piece. Yeah. I think it's wicked. It's very uh, it's very understated as well. Like it's not like high contrast. It's not like a very fantasy paint job, which is no. obviously my sort of thing. Um, it's just a really, really well done piece. Yeah, no, it's lovely. It's a, a bit, as I said, it's one I'd like to have seen in person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, obviously for the paint job, but for that resin pour. Mm. You and your fucking resin, <laughs> mate. Resin pours are fucking. They're hard. They are so difficult to get right. And when you see a good one, it's like I want to see it. <laughs> but 
would know have been too chicken shit to try. Sounds like someone's got to do resin pour on them, doesn't it? Who? Chris? Mm. He's got to finish yeah. a fucking model first. Well, put it this way. Yeah, it's you, a good, it's, you come it's round and uh, show me. It's a good excuse, right? Because then he can go, oh, the resin pour went wrong, so I don't have to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> but next one. So I saw, th- I have seen this one before, but it is lovely. Just because it's so different. Like, so, so different. Oh, I haven't seen this. This is so, so good. I love these. This is not my sort of thing. But they are very cool. Because it's fun and has colour in it. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, you're not far wrong. I'm going to... I'd like to argue that fact. (laughs) But yeah, you're pretty spot on. It's not my sort of thing. I do think they're painted really, really well, though. Those are nice. Yeah. And and that that core uh thing, that's from Fen Model Show. So was that yeah, one of the yeah. I didn't was that one of the events? Fans. Yeah. They um Yep, they were handing those out. Yeah, mm. they were handing them out at Fen Model Show for um Oh core the FMS yeah, yeah, guys yeah. was handing the... them out asset at SMC. That would explain yeah. why I never saw it at Fen. Okay, got it. Right, you. because that's, 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 I was assuming that that must have been in, in the same way that Chris got the contrast medal that this guy got the core from uh, Fen. Mm. Yep, pretty much um, any of the judges that were judging SMC that also obviously do their own um, Mm. event were handing these out um, for Mm. both, um, I think for standard and masters uh, levels as well. So like uh, you had the the bigger trophy for like a contrast master. Um, Mm. Which is cool. I, I love that idea. Yeah, it's it's a it's a nice idea. Mm. The other ones are nice as well, but I keep coming back to this one. Yeah, I just have to support these. Clearly popped yeah. for obvious reasons, and yeah, it's cool. Catches the eye. It's fun. The orange jacket on the draft is is really really nice. See, interestingly, the one I like is the one that's the least colourful. Well, that well, the well, 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 jacket. Well. On the bunny. These were her first miniatures. Sorry, Erin. These are uh, her what? first miniatures. Wow. Are you having <laughs> a fucking laugh? <laughs> okay. What? That's mad. And just, Please. Chris, Chris, just think, you can't even finish a proper gl- Glorfindel. <laughs> <laughs> You can't even fucking say it properly. <laughs> that was shit. Do better than that. At the, at the very least, <laughs> I hope they come from like a seriously strong art background. Yeah, if, a professional if someone's about to just said. They've got to be. They've got yeah. to be. Yeah, because if, if it was like, if it was like, oh no, I'm an accountant by trade and I just fancied giving it a go, it's like, you need to just give it a <laughs> <seat>. like, <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, they're She's amazing. Nice. It's the it's the bravery of it as well. Like where everyone else would go, like obviously black plinth, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and they've just gone nope. Like yeah, polar opposite. Yep. Yeah. yeah. No, I like them. The one on the right creeps me out though. What the lemur? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's lemurs in general actually. Like they weird me out. They're not normal. They've Here we go. Faces. Here we go. What? Don't even this, start this stuff as well. You is, can't tell me this... a lemur looks at you and isn't like. It's like it, I don't know. It's got that. It's got like a like a sex pest face. There we go. There right. we go. I was waiting for you <laughs> to make it weird. True. It's true. Is it because it's not wearing the right? <clears throat> is it because it's no, not wearing the right amount of layers? Yes. The layering issue. The layers. Can we just take a, a time out and no, talk about Liam's weird layers? This is tangent. this is Jesus. this is exactly why he doesn't like the lemur because it's got two <clears> layers <throat> on the the sort no of chest the lemur but like, no layers on the head staring at me. It's literally staring at me. But if it was wearing a hat, would it, would you be more comfortable? I probably would, to be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, please explain for people that weren't yeah, watching your stream yesterday. <laughs> no, 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 they, they need right. to know this. Right, we need okay. to share this. So I have the listen. I'm gonna I'm gonna say before I start explaining this, I know it's weird, right? And I know it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me. All right, it's just a feeling, right? But. You you can't have your layers have to go down in steps, right? So when you're wearing clothes, don't make me laugh. Don't no, make carry on, you doing great. Yeah. No, carry right. on, carry on. I'm, so, I'm 
You know what's He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. He's just not, he just doesn't want to say it. <laughs> Okay, right. Are we, <laughs> so much? Are we actually going to have to tell this story for him? Are we going to tell story? <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. I've got this. i got it. <laughs> so it's just a weird thing that I have, right? So, so for context, right? <clears throat> Steph was laying in bed the other night, right? Uh, yeah, the context it was really makes it cold, so much better. Right, so, <laughs> and it was and it was cold. So she gets into bed and she's got nothing on on her lower half, but then she puts on a top and then a hoodie. Right, so she's got two layers on our top half and then like nothing, nothing. So that's like two. That's like a big step, like two steps. Right, but you can't have that because <laughs> because it's got to be like you've got to have two layers on your top half and then one layer on your bottom <laughs> half. Right, so it's like one step. Right. <laughs> So it doesn't make sense. It's like if you wear a t-shirt, a know. jumper, and then a coat, you, you can't just have trousers because then it's like three steps and and to one step. Right. I know it's weird, all right? I know. It doesn't make sense. I don't understand it either. But it's a thing that's in my head. It's like one of those little ticks that just bugs the hell out of me. It's not normal. It's just rich, Whatever. rich. It's not a ladder, mate. <laughs> It's just got to be like, it's, it's got to go in layers, right? Not multiple layers. It's fucking, right, whatever, right? Shut up, the lot of you. I know it's weird. It's great because you've explained it twice now and I still don't understand it. Nope. Listen. Nope. I don't understand it either. Right? The worst bit was, right? The worst bit was is as we were having this conversation on stream yesterday, Right, I already knew this was weird and it didn't make sense. But as people were asking me these questions, it made me realize that it makes no sense and there's no logic to it. But why, right, as part of this, does underwear not count? Right, you're making the I, rules. I know, I don't understand the rules. <laughs> this is a problem. This <laughs> doesn't make sense. Why are you asking <laughs> us? <laughs> I'm confused as well. <laughs> It doesn't oh make any God. sense. It's just a thing, right? I got a thing. Zip. It's weird. Your layers have to be like this, not not like this, right? That's the best explanation. Shut the fuck up, the lot of you. How do you have so much obsession with that order, and then your entire painting room is just fucking chaos? Oh, I got some yeah. weird stuff in my head. Honestly, it's so weird, right? That's not even the worst of it. Genuinely, I don't know how my wife put up to it. Puts up with me. Do you know what? Honestly, right? And this is oh. this is where everyone's going to judge me. The worst bit is, is we were laying in bed, and obviously Steph's got two tops on, and I made her take one off because it, I couldn't sleep because it was bothering me. <laughs> I mean, that's what most men try to do in those situations, but no, I wasn't even like that. I wanted to go to sleep, that's right? Just... <laughs> so I I can't sleep. You got two tops on. <laughs> <laughs> I literally couldn't sleep. It was aggravating there. I mean. <laughs> oh. I don't know, I'm a oh, at least we got a topic for episode two. <laughs> I don't know how she puts up with me. <laughs> right. Literally, well, if anyone blank. understands, if anyone <laughs> understands what the hell I've been talking about or, or the logic, like, by all means, let me know because I don't fucking get it either. Uh, never mate, it's weird as hell. Uh, well, anyway. On that Ooh. note. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I had a segue to the next one, so just... Uh, here you go. Here's the next one. <laughs> Oh, mate, I'm sorry. Now, actually, before we start, Liam, yeah, are we are we happy with a harness counting as a layer for the chest? Or oh, is mate, this going to upset start. you? Don't even start. The dungarees <laughs> is what got me, right? How do you count dungarees? Right, dungarees bugs the shit out of me, right? Because when you've got a T-shirt and a jumper and then you've got trousers, it goes down in like a step, right? So in my head, right, this is what messes me up. In my head, it's steps, right? 
When you have dungarees, it turns into like a fucking slope. How do you how do you measure that? Right? It doesn't <laughs> make any sense. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> It's your brain seeing a slope, you fucking weirdo. The, the, the best part, oh, like, one of one of the best comments in this, right? It's just Katie. <laughs> he just goes, "I'm so confused." <laughs> like, oh, anytime oh, someone Kate. cry last, it makes me do it as well. <laughs> Kate, like, Katie, this is the second time he's tried to explain it, and none of us get it. I don't understand. <laughs> if anyone is strugg- also struggling out there, I please recommend <laughs> professional therapy. It's <laughs> good for the same. Please don't allow it. Don't turn out like this guy. Like a fucking Wookiee, <laughs> mate. Cool. Okay. All right. Let's get back on track. You lot set me up. Uh, we tried. Ooh. We tried. Mate. Oh. oh. Fuck me. My face hurts. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. All right. Who wants to start oh, then? <laughs> yeah, it's really fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> There's something about this one. Someone painted the backdrop. Someone painted one of the models. Something else. I don't know. Three people that composed this. Shit, man. Oh. 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 oh dear. Yeah. Seriously. Oh, I'm alright, guys. Um. Serious. <laughs> um. Um. <clears throat> yeah, in the serious yeah. voices now. Serious. <clears throat> If anyone can correct me because I'm going to get this wrong. Someone sculpted these, someone painted these, and someone else painted the backdrop. Are these not the big child ones, though? Yeah. These yeah. are the big child trio, are they not? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. Could be, though. It's... There's, there's something that was split between three. It's, de- it's definitely not. So I'm, you guys can't see it because it's cut off just because of how the screen share works. But um, in their description, they list big child. So it's definitely the, the big mm. child. Um, Gladiators. Right. See, obviously I've done my homework before bringing this on to this, the, uh, the best podcast. Part, best part is, this is one that you sent me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, lovely, though. Yeah. It's, it's another really good example of the backdrop actually being justified as well. Yep. Yeah. It, this looks as good as it does in person, um, as you see here. Like the, so, the backdrop was eye-catching and then you really look at the models. I mean, to be fair, the guy on the right is like, is that Ruben Martinez or whatever? Like, that's literally the big child team. Yeah. I thought it was yeah, a Spanish AC. A... <clears throat> I was waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you, you were right. It's split between three people. Um, yeah. But I'm guessing they each painted one. Yeah, that could be it. Yeah. yeah. One yeah, of them probably this did is really weird seeing, uh, part of the big child team because the big child yeah. sculptors sculpt in house. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That they, are mm. they are very, very nice. I've looked at the, I think uh, Ruben's the painter for Big Child. Or is Ruben uh, Ruben's a head painter? I don't know. No. I know. I'm pretty sure the without going back to the photos again, guy on the right and guy in the middle, they both mm-hmm. paint for Big Child for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um I'm assuming they must all three of them must do. I mean three minutes, yeah. three people, like it's gotta be. Yeah, they, <clears> they were on the the winners list as three separate people, so yeah. um right. Yeah, yeah, guessing it's allowed. It's... Yeah. I mean, they are lovely. Mm. I've looked at the, the guy with the trident before. I've looked at that model and gone, mm, kind of tempted. Yeah, I really yeah, like the light cool. on this, the light and interaction on this with the backdrop. I have to say I'm not a big fan of these models. I like the... Um, I like the... Um, <clears throat> you know, the Spartan ones better. Yes. The, yeah, the... 
uh, the ones are the massive, the it's, massive it's not fair to say that i'm not a fan of these models i prefer the spartan ones if i was doing the trio i i would do the spartans so yeah no like, i don't want to put these down they're lovely sculpts they're really cool but it wouldn't be my yeah. choice if i was choosing out of the big child no I'd, I'd, I'd say that's i'd say that's fair the spartans are lovely but mm. they're also they're quite old now right the spartans they've been mm, a couple of years two or three years yeah. Yeah. whereas yeah. these are new so it makes sense to put forward the the new stuff, right? If you're going to exhibit yeah. something, uh, especially as Big Child, it makes sense to take these. Um, but they are nice. Hmm. They're very, very nice. However, yep. I will admit I'm, I'm, I'm going to be biased than on the next one. What's the next this one? Is so, <clears throat> oh, mate. So this good. is so good. Oh, yeah. Was it? This is teal, isn't it? Yeah, it's teal. Yeah, no, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> this is no, it's nice. red. <laughs> I mean, I'm 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 nostalgic with this artwork anyway. To be honest with you, like the old elder artwork. Do you know what I mean? So I've got to yeah. give brownie points to Lynn for just glossing completely over that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's okay. I found right. it funny. I'm gonna be mature. <laughs> oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, it's because he took this to Nova, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this I went to so. Nova. Mm -hmm. um, but it is... I mean, Chris, you again, you were there. How big is this? Because I, I, I always assumed it's 75. I'm going to be I... honest, Erin. I didn't see it. Oh, really? I thought this was 110. This feels bigger than 75 to me. Well, that's, that's why I asked. Because <clears throat> you just... When you, see, when you see things like this, you kind of just assume 75. But... Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if it is slightly bigger. Yeah, I think this is 110, truthfully. I don't know why. Oh, wait. Um, this is the same guy that did the the Elder bust. Yes. Yeah. Then, yes, it's around the same size as that. Right, so it's 110. Um, actually, I did see yeah, it, though, both together. Yeah, definitely a big old piece. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, it's lovely. That changes like things it. a little bit for me. Not in terms mm -hmm. of like liking it less, as in like the scale of this as a project. That's a lot more work, especially with the, fun, the patterning in that armor. Mm. <clears throat> that armor is a huge amount of work at that scale. Yeah, I'd I mean, be interested. Go on, sorry. I'd be interested to see how he actually did the armor, especially at that scale. I'd be interested to see fi what, finger painting. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, can you see what we're looking at? <laughs> are you, are you, are you, Liam, Liam, wakey, wakey. <laughs> Finger painting. And yeah, just looked at the description. Yeah, I went to Nova as well. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, there's no way we weren't including this one, right? Sure. Uh, this is so, disgusting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing that I would say about this, right, it's incredible. A lot of people have said to me, I don't understand how he's painted that non-metal metallic. But what you need to realize is that that scale, a Space mm. Marine at 75 mil, it's still wildly difficult, right? But it's a very different animal doing it this yeah. big than on 28 mil or even 54 yep. mil. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's incredible. It's amazing. And I love the fact that with this type of metal, you can't paint it smoothly, right? You have to have, um, you have to have harsh transitions to pull this off. And he's shown so much restraint, especially on the elbow. You see it, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. But people need to realize this is a big old model. Do you know what I mean? Right? It's an amazing, it's an amazing yeah. paint job. I'm not taking away from our now, right? It's incredible. But he's a big old boy. Yeah. <laughs> when you have but metal that polished, like there is no transition. If you look at a real live example it's yeah it's yeah, tough it to just do. it just immediately moves from one to the other but it'd be mm -hmm. it'd be interesting to see the brushwork in this as well because a lot obviously brushwork gets gets lost in instagram or wherever because mm -hmm. of compression and blah 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 mm -hmm. but for it to be polished there's still going to be surface sort of like striations in it mm -hmm. and as you say when this gets bigger texture becomes so much more important mm -hmm. i'd be very keen to see like actually another one that would be nice to see in person rather mm. than through photos because <clears throat> i actually it, think this will be 
in some ways is being done a disservice by the photo. So I, I think re it read very well in person. Yeah. yeah. This there, there's two sides of this. I think first of all, I think the photo will enhance it in some ways and really detract from it as well because of the size. Whereas in when you paint twenty eight mil non met, no matter how correct your photo is, it's always a certain amount of enhancement, right? Yeah. With this, I think the photo is going to hold it back a little bit, which is a crazy thing to say. The other no. thing that I find really interesting is you, I, I genuinely, you could not pull off this paint job at 28 mil. You couldn't pull off this type of non-metal metallic at 28 mil because you don't physically have the real estate to paint that, that type of, those type of reflections. So <clears throat> this makes it even more special because it's rare because you're not going to mm. see it, right? Do you know what I mean? And that's one of the reasons why I do love this. It's really, really yeah. cool. I mean, it's just, it, it, it's even, even as someone that enjoys non-metallic, I look at that and just go, no idea, mate. I would like even, even beginning to try and break that down in terms of a plan is just on a completely different plane of existence to anything. Mm -hmm. It's very but, much a trust a process kind of. Yeah. Mold. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, like oh, yeah. I mean, like we, we all joke about like non met looks crap ninety nine percent of the time, right until the end. Could you mm. imagine doing this and just like, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> <clears throat> this is one of the true Ooh. points. This is one of the true non met paint jobs which would look crap until the end, isn't it? Yeah. That's the thing. It's yeah. madness. It yeah. It is. How we didn't break halfway through, I don't know. No idea. <laughs> Do you know and what I mean, though? Because you'd be looking at it going, what is this shit? <laughs> and, then you, and then you've got the back as well. <clears throat> well let's just this is a bit that I'd like to see in real life. Because yeah. this, the, the photo never gives you a true reflection. Yeah, I couldn't actually see like this. this. Yeah. So, yeah. Or, I mean, I've, I've seen Arnell's work. It will be amazing. But I would like to see this particular part in real life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's, it's just complexity on top of complexity at this point like non-met is already uh, non-met at this scale is already going to be hard but to then throw osl at it as well <clears throat> so i, I just want to so muzz put in the comments considering mm. how well the <clears throat> nmm it looks it makes the wings and feathers look a bit meh that is a fair comment but what you kind of need to think about right is and i i guarantee this knowing our now as well you don't want to over detail the wings because if you put too much refinement, not refinement, but if you put too much information into the wings, it makes the whole model look busy. It's the same as why the face has not got loads of information in it. It's very well painted. <clears throat> it's incredibly well painted, but it hasn't got loads of information. It hasn't got a lot of noise because if you have too much noise everywhere, it becomes too busy. So in this case, you're absolutely bang on, but it would be a poor choice to make those wings more effectively, if that makes sense. I'm hoping that makes sense. I don't know if you guys agree. No, I, yeah, I agree. Totally. I agree completely. Like it's with minis <clears throat> like this, and it doesn't, it doesn't even matter on scale, really. When you're going for something this uh, sort of, I guess, in your face, mm -hmm. if you just go, if everything is all the, all the way to 11 across the whole thing, mm -hmm. it loses impact. Absolutely. Because you just you don't notice the bits that are meant to be the statement. Yeah. Um, so no, I I completely agree. I wouldn't have done yeah. more with the wings. I don't it's that contrast in information, isn't it? Yeah. Doesn't yep. need it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Agreed. Anyway, yeah. Oh, now strikes again, fucker. Yeah. Guess what? <laughs> uh, this the next one's not entirely fair. <clears throat> it's not really a mini <clears throat> that was displayed, but it was something <clears throat> that. I know Chris has got first-hand experience of this one, and I know Chris got an absolute mm. lecture from Laura over it as well. The suspense because while I wait for this to show up. You ruined the packaging. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautifully packaged, and Chris was just like, do, 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 just <laughs> destroyed Mate, when it. You, when this got posted, I was like, why are you showing me fish and chips? Fish and chips. Look, you might <laughs> have been a little bit impatient. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> you are the model's feral. still in there. The model is safe. Testament to their packaging, of course. Uh, however, it's lost all 
visual impact now. Sorry, sorry, Arnel. So this is what it did look like before Chris completely destroyed it. So not entirely a competition entry, but I I think it would be fair to say packaging of the year at this point. Yeah, like, it's just fun. It's just fun. You even get two chopsticks that Mate. they put for it, which I do have. This is like so, the burger all over again. That's useful. So you've got you've got so you bought a mini, and the thing that you're actually going to use is the chopsticks. Yeah. Well, he's not going to fucking paint it, is he? That that's, that's the joke. value. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so the last the last couple are actually from mm. people from within the the community as well. So this one, I've now this one's slightly slightly biased slash unfair on my part mm. because I've actually got to hold this before. I've mm -hmm. already seen this. And the picture does not do this justice. <clears throat> it is stunning. I did see this one there. It was cool. Yeah. Little splecks of all the embers and stuff. Yeah. It's a great Cause, idea. Because it had previously been entered uh, Golden Demon um, without some of the base assets uh, and some slight tweaks and changes um, been made to the mini as well. But this is another example of going back, actually going back to what we were talking about earlier, where basing can make a big difference, mm -hmm. but it, it has to be justified and shouldn't ever detract from the mini. Mm -hmm. But I would never have had the balls to take a mini painted this well and be like, and now I'm going to put random dots all over the bottom of it. Mm. Right. Nope. Yeah, that's hard to undo. There's no one doing that. I like it. <clears throat> I think it's really cool. It's not very often that, and I like Space Marines, it's not very often you see an interesting Space Marine. No. You see a lot of well-painted Space Marines. That's, that's, it's not fair to say that's easy to do, but that's done a lot. It's not very often you see an interesting Space Marine. Yeah. And I, I think, think that it's... says all it needs to say about this. Yeah. It's the, it's interesting because of the setting. Like it actually has a setting. Yeah. Exactly what Muzz said. It's moody. Um, there is actually like a, a proper atmosphere to it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse yeah. me. I was a big fan of this. As I said, bias. Yeah, it's a black it. Templar, so I'm always going to give it brownie points, but I've also got to hold this. So I was like, yeah, that's nice. Mm. How how did it do a Golden Demon? Um, uh, I'd imagine it got a pin. I can't remember. I hope so. Pin... I mean, it was, it was definitely a pin. I can't remember where the flink got... Uh... The reason... I, th I should I probably clarify this comment, actually, before people start thinking that I'm being a dick. The reason why I take a guess it would be in a pin... I'm really sorry, Scarlet's drinking. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I would say this got a pin is because it's an incredibly well-painted Space Marine. But it's a Space Marine. Do you know what I mean? Like... There's so many single categories are so strong. There's going to be mm. so many more interesting models, not paint jobs, models that yep. are also incredibly well painted. Right. So but the, but I would but take this, a guess at pin. This cycles back to what we were talking about earlier, about if you've got a model that compositionally is just stronger mm -hmm. and yeah. everything else is equal, then the composition is mm -hmm. going to give you an edge. Absolutely. It would have been, it'd have been interesting to see if the result could have been different with more of a setting and atmosphere like it has now. Because um, oh, I think this would compete for Commended now. Yeah, for sure. Because this, uh, I, I'm pretty sure he got a pin. Mm -hmm. um, but I believe he got a silver and small scale master with this, mm -hmm. which is a okay. big step up. Well, yeah. to be fair though, what you've got to remember with the opens, silver is... Mm a set standard whereas in yeah. gd is obviously the standard is set by the top three yeah so i would absolutely agree this is this deserves bronze or silver in masters depending on the comp i think that's that's a given it's a beautiful paint job when it comes to gd yep. it's just it's just this oh, and yeah. we're going to talk about this the fucking closed comps like they're just it de yeah, yeah it depends it depends on what's there on the day but yeah absolutely which is absolutely it, it, you're never going to get away from that i'm but glad this guy got a trophy though because he deserves it Oh god, yeah. Like, yeah, hundred uh, percent. 
and as I said, it's to go f- to get it from pin to silver in masters is not a small feat. Mm, no, um, agreed. But it is lovely. Mm. And then the last one that I picked out, I'm pretty sure they might. I don't know. Oh no, they're not here tonight. They're not. Because like, I was talking to them the other day. We had to include Moo. Uh, ah, yeah. We yeah. had to include Moo, who absolutely smashed it. So she did. For those who don't know Moo, uh, Moo is a, a mod for pretty much all of us, and she's all in every stream all the time. Mm. Um, and her painting has been getting better and better and better. And then she yeah. turns up to SMC and just cleans house. <laughs> <laughs> cleans house in Masters. She's Miss yeah. Masters. Yeah, and it was uh, it was it was bust ambient with the two bronzes, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I Not love Rich, but watch. Space Toy did well as well. Yes, he did. But yeah, I mean, this uh, they're all lovely, but mm-hmm. it's got to be this one, right? Yeah. It has, it has to be that one. The freehand in the robe is just... It's wicked. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, yeah, Moo did it. Also, she's the one that pointed out to me that I needed to put the stickers on the model at 9pm <laughs> on Saturday night, which she took no enjoyment from, of course. No, of course not. No, Even no. though she messaged me on the night going, you'll never guess what this dickhead's done. She did the really? same to me. She did the <laughs> same oh, to me. Yeah. She messaged us <laughs> while she was at SMC. <laughs> Fucking idiot. I mean... Let, to be fair, if the shoe was on the other foot, you'd do the same thing. Don't I'll take don't it all back. This is shit. <laughs> yeah. I think Moo's, 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 like if you look at where Moo was two years ago, she is an incredible painter that's come so far, it's unreal. Yeah. Like, amazing painter. So, Moo, if you watch this back, gold next year, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Gold or nothing. Gold or don't talk to us again. Yeah. Or you're dead to us. <laughs> <laughs> Says the group of people that between them have... Oh, we have one gold between us. I was going to say. <laughs> I mean, you got a gold demon, but that doesn't count. Yeah, it's not a gold one, though. I mean, I've got, I got a gold in the Ed Banger for Masters. I don't know. I, well, you got gold at um, Fen. Oh shit! Yeah, I got gold in in oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got two <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. I got two golds. <laughs> I forgot, Jesus my bad. Christ! I was sitting here thinking, uh, yeah, I got gold on that online comp in the Masters category. That was like a good win. <laughs> Man, I suck at this stuff. <laughs> it's just like, I got two golds. <laughs> so, you know, between us, we've got we've got a gold. Chris is like, yeah, it's mine. Liam's just like, yeah, it's Chris. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, um, let, yeah let. I got mine. I also haven't lost it. Woo. Oh wow, <laughs> that's gold, impressive. Though, it's <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, actually, that's a good point. That's a good point. There was a question earlier that com- mm. we completely glossed over, and that's just reminded me. Yeah. Why is your medal not on your forehead, Chris? <laughs> I mean, I did sell a tape it to my forehead the other day. <laughs> definitely didn't regret that. No, definitely not. <laughs> so, we c- bear in mind, we've already kind of touched on it. So, we've been through SMC. We've gone through some stuff that we thought was really nice. Um, We've got some new ones coming. New events. Yeah. So how are we all feeling about the next sort of... I would say year, but it's not even that, is it? Fucking amazing. Six months. (laughs) I feel great now because I haven't started anything. Mate. Yeah. Right. right. (laughs) First comp of the city. Like, let's... We've got DiddyCon at the end of the year. I want to point that out before we start. Right. But I I include that as this year. That's the last comp of this year. So what we're talking about here, so for anyone who isn't who doesn't know about DiddyCon, DiddyCon core open competition, go check it out. It's gonna be the nuts, South Wales miniature open. He's a friend, it would be rude not to plug it. Seriously, go check it out, guys. Um, but competition season for next year, by the looks of it, starts in March, right? Because we got a new we got a new competition starting for the the MPO, miniature painting open by the Cottle Paint guys. Mm-hmm. It's in March. And it's in Bristol. The rumor is it's in March and it's in Bristol. And it's another open comp. And I'm absolutely in love with this because we not only are we getting a 
good competition scene in the UK, it's now outnumbering the closed comps with open competitions. We have more open mm. competitions than we do closed comps, and that is nothing but a good thing. I'm yep. buzzing, absolutely yeah. buzzing. And this 100%. is coming from someone who prefers closed comps, right? I prefer the Golden Demon format. Yeah. Right. But open competitions are just better for the hobby, in my opinion. Hot take. No, I agree. No, I, yeah. I, I agree. I think they, it's it's a catch twenty two because I'm I'm in the same boat where I make no secret about it. Like I I'm a competitive person. Like I like the competition. Um, is it necessarily healthy for the the scene as a whole? If everything is like that, no, it's not. Um, so it's good to see more open format stuff because it is better for the scene and it's mm. it gets more people i mean the biggest obstacle that comes up when people talk about golden demons specifically is they go oh well i'm not going to win so i'm not going to enter yeah and i mean so for anyone who doesn't yeah. know do you want to explain what an open comp is in the closed comp yeah so a closed competition uh, the one that everyone will be by far the most familiar with is golden demon right so closed is competitive. There is a first, a second, and a third for any given category, right? And you'll have maybe a, a you'll have a, a best in show. Most of them tend to. So obviously Slayer Sword for Golden Demon. Uh, in closed competitions, it is reductive, which means you're measured against other people. And what they will do, especially at the top, sort of like five percent of painters, they will be looking for mistakes. They're not necessarily gonna be able to judge a piece on its artistic merit because it is a it's a competition that is all about technical execution and who has done the best paint job not not artistically the best technically the best and what that ends up ha sort of resulting with or resulting in rather is is hyper competitive like seriously competitive which is part of what i like i enjoy I that yeah the the Absolutely love it but the, the, the side effect of it is you end up with, I'm just going to call it as it is, you essentially mm -hmm. end up with two groups of people. The people that understand that, yes, it's a competition, but you're all there to have fun. And people that are there to like they're there to win and they don't care what happens or what they have to do to get there. Um, so in terms of it being healthy, not entirely, because it does breed a certain degree of, uh, I would say it's fair to, uh, to say toxicity. Drama. Um, All the drama. drama. Yeah. Drama is a better way of putting it. <laughs> oh, I mean, we, we live salty before. We <laughs> live for the drama. We live for the drama. But at yeah. the same time, we're aware that it's not the best thing. Um, the other thing that ends up happening is people get very put off because yeah. it's very, you know, if you know you are just not going to be able to compete with the likes of Richard Gray, Wardle, uh, Arnau, Maskelands, <laughs> Chris Perry. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Same then, Brazil. <laughs> like a lot of people take that and go, "Well, I'm just not going to enter then." And whilst I get that, at the same time, it's a shame because even though yes, you may not be in with a shot for the first, second, third, it's still good to think of it as an exhibition. It's still good to think about exhibiting your work. You still get to go and meet people, talk to people, and even when you turn up, I mean, like. I think it's fair to say we all turn up and go, it's probably not going to happen, but I'm just here for the basically shits and giggles at this point. Um, it's and not that's... a newbie friendly competition, is it? No, it's not. Not if you want recognition. It's not newbie friendly. Um, whereas in an open format, it's not measured between pa two painters. So they will have a set standard. So if you are painting at a standard that would merit a bronze, they will give you a bronze. Not all not all competitions will give out an unlimited number. So they will be somewhat limited, um, but they generally have a good bead on on average. You know how many they're probably going to end up with. So if you turn up and you know you, you don't have to worry about oh I can't compete with the massive names. Doesn't matter if your painting standard is good enough for the medal, you'll get the medal. Mm. Um, which makes it far more welcoming. It makes it far more relaxed as well because you're not sat there staring at. So much more yeah. relaxed than it. Yeah. Yeah. Way more relaxed. Um, yeah. you, you don't end up staring at the cabinets, going, "Oh God, who's entered that?" And like, you, all of that disappears because you just basically leave your models and go, "Cool, I'll be back later." 
Um, and it, it feels much more like... Um, it feels... So, I, I, to a degree, I would say that both of them feel very similar to me on, like, day one-ish, right? Where it just feels like you're going to the pub with a bunch of mates. Where it changes is where you get to day two. What, for Once closed you, comps? Oh, God, yeah. Once yeah. you get to day two... An open comp, it's still relaxed. Day two, a closed yeah. comp is when everyone's just like. Mm. And if you notice, a lot of the time, there's like <laughs> it's almost time. like a knockout. It's like a knockout. Mm. Certain people like the groups get smaller and smaller as people get knocked out. Like if you don't yeah. get a finalist, all of a sudden you're not really in the crowd. If you don't get commended, then you're not in the crowd anymore. And then what you get is the trophy winners kind of stick together as a general rule as well. Um, and it, it's it's really it's it's such a different atmosphere. Yeah, and yeah, I completely agree. O- more yeah. open comps is just just better for the hobby in the UK. Yeah. It's I for, love for sure. comps, but yeah, we want we want more people going to events. We want the hobby to grow. It needs to be open comps. Yeah, and right, it, so, it, and yeah, it doesn't. It's not to say that we should be replacing closed for open. We still need mm. both. I, I, as I said, personally, I'd be very disappointed if it was all just open because I like the competitive aspect of it. Like, it. You need to have both, but there's no shame in going one format is just not for me because everyone goes on about Golden Demon and changing it and they should do X, Y, and Z. And to a degree, I don't actually agree with it. it it's, it's There's nothing wrong with saying, I don't like the competition, so I'm not going to go. Bingo. That's fine. No, like, Just yeah. don't go. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not a problem. One, one of the common, most common things I hear is, oh, I'm not good enough to enter Golden Demon or yeah. close comps in general. Um, and what I really liked about SMC this year is it didn't just have standard and masters, they had beginners as well. Yes. So it's actually a, a standard that's uh, welcome for people of all experiences, let's say. Um, and there's still, you know, there's still a side of going with your gut as to what one you should enter. But it's, it's a it's a nice sort of ladder to try and over the years uh, improve and you know do better. So uh, what yeah. I like about SMC is they will move you. Yes, if you're in yeah, standard exactly. and you should clearly be in masters. <laughs> you ain't you're you're getting get away it. with that, mate. You get shifted. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and that's but that's how it should be because yeah. what you don't want, and it kind of goes back to you know the other group of people that we're all aware of. We're not going to get into mudslinging etc but we all know the types and we all know the names (laughs) yes um you that you need that level of oversight otherwise they will just turn up and be like oh i got a golden standard to go next to my my golden demons it's just like yeah you should not like make wrong category like come on um so no there still need it still needs to be strict there still needs to be oversight there still needs to be rules it can't be, you know, it, it it needs to be policed in a way that it never turns into a gimme. Mm. Like, and I think the, this is why Fen is going to be so interesting next year. How so? Because Fen has now got a, oh, it has a standard and a master's category, which is not being enforced. Ooh. Okay. They said that they're not enforcing Ooh. it. So, <laughs> I, 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 so I got gold at Fen. I should clearly be a Masters at Fen. Yeah. But I could, if I just won a trophy, I could just go into standard and they're not going to move me. Interesting. So this way it makes things interesting. But we'll get on to Fen anyway. Well, because yeah. like, <laughs> we'll get there. So the first comp yeah. of the season, what do you, so what do we think about what we know about the MPO? So we got a new open comp. It's run by the Colt Paint guys. Well, uh, How we, are we feeling? Are we a hundred percent sure it's March? Because I've not actually seen that. The rumors, all oh, of the rumor. strong right. rumors, okay, um, are March. As in, like, <sighs> literally, a friend of mine takes tuition with a cult of paint person, and they said March. Oh, so that's how strong the rumor is, right? Okay. How I so, how I feel is sorry, carry on. Well, no, go on because I was going to say how I feel. So go for it, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to say uh, how I feel for a new comp, I guess, depends on who the judges are. Um, well, a lot of people have said this to me. I'm going to I'm going to go out my way and just get this out of the way right now. Right. Henry and Andy know everyone 
And so does Matt from Golden Demon Convention. They know everyone. Yeah. The judges will not be shit. No. Right? And they will not. No, no, no. Because, like, literally, I've had this conversation with, like, seven people. The judges will not be shit. And they will no. not prioritize GW. No. They will not prioritize GW or the GW style. Because no. they'll, they'll kill the comp. And they'll, they'll label themselves as hypocrites. Because yeah. they've always said that they want to strengthen the UK scene. I, I if the, uh, yeah. as a as a group of people, I there's not that. I mean, I basically trust them to not fuck it up. Mm -hmm. Like given oh, who's I, in, given who's this, involved with it, it's like yeah, this will probably go well. <laughs> first, first comp, I'm fully expecting a disaster, right? And and I'll be cool with I, that, well, right? Yeah, you know but, what I mean, like it's that's, the first that's, comp. Gonna, like, exactly. Go it, it, it's always <laughs> first first event jitters, right? Where mm -hmm. I mean, with the best one in the world, if a three billion pound company can't organise their first event, I think everyone else gets a free pass. Yeah, yeah, that's a fair. So, point. Yeah, I think I'm, my 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 problem with the MPO right now, right, is the very simple fact that it's an open competition, and we probably got it in March. That's not long to get a display. Oh, that together. completely screws me. <laughs> it's, it's, a it's an open comp. It's about a display. Like if I, I, I take one model, great. But I don't want to take one model to an open comp. I want to nope. display my yep. shit. That's, you know that, I mean? that screws me. Because I, I'll, I'll make no secret of it. My priority, obviously going to Adeptcon as well, it's my priority is Golden Demon. Yeah, and you've got all, Yeah, exactly. I've got two to do. And I've, mm. all my plans, and all right, we'll get onto that in a bit, um, <laughs> are all focused or have all been focused around Golden Demon. So the whole like, yeah, now there's an open comp. Oh, and by the way, it's in March. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, all right. <laughs> no, <laughs> not, not happening. Um, yeah. But yeah, and the, obviously the other thing to point out with the NPO as well, because um, I've seen it mentioned in chat a couple of times, it is also online. The online one starts tomorrow. Well, the online um, one is a separate comp, isn't it? Yes. It's being run separately. They've got the MPO online and they've got MPO Bristol. Um, so the online so, one is there. Yeah. Um, I freely admit I won't be anywhere in the online one. No, I hate online not, comps. No, no. I did it once yeah. and never again. Oh, I don't. I just straight up don't have anything. It's like, well, what do I enter apart from the stuff that... Well, you I mean, you'd enter stuff like Demon taking Prince pictures. that sort of stuff. Yeah, but... The, I mean, slight tangent, right? But still on, related this to... this can of worms, go on. Yeah. It hasn't won the MPO, you can enter it. Just because it's won a trophy doesn't mean you can't enter it into another Yeah, but it, it's... I, I'm, right. I'm no, trying... No, 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 stop being no, a bitch. Chat, chat, chat. I'll, I'll mute you. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, it's the whole... that Those minis were for last year. Like, they've been around, they've done their thing. Like, I'd, I don't... I don't like the idea of it rolling over into next season and being like, here's the same thing again. But surely the season is one comp to one comp. Yeah. I also to treat it show. MPO to MPO. I don't treat it December to December. I treat it GD to GD, MPO to MPO, SMC to SMC. I guess, yeah, I can, I can see that. But at the same time, it's a personal hang-up, right? This is entirely just a me mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I, I, I don't... I don't like the idea of just being like, here's the same thing again. Have everyone be like, oh, yeah, it's it's that model again. You know, like, where do you draw the line? Like, how many times do you enter the same thing before people start saying something? Once per comp. So the way that I see it, I think this is a really interesting conversation to have, right? But the, the reason why I say one comp to one comp, right? Let's say, for example, I, I finish something in November and I enter it into DiddyCon and I win gold. Now you're telling me that uh, well, we we wouldn't enter that into Golden Demon? No, no, that, no, no. Later? Do you see and what that, I mean? So that's why I would say comp to comp. If you enter it yeah, more yeah. than once into the same comp, I've got no time for that. That seems daft to me. But uh, yeah, if yeah. you're retiring a piece at the end of its competition season, because the other thing as well is if you finish a, a piece in April and you enter it into Golden Demon and then you finish another piece in, say, June, well, surely that means that you can enter that one that was finished in June into the following GD. But not the one that was entered in April, because that would have already. Like a, Do you see where I'm coming from? It's like a rolling yeah, calendar mean, year, right? That's exactly it's how it's the, same thing. It's the rolling calendar. I think but it's I, not I think, December to December. I, I think there's, I think there's there's some nuance to it, right? It's mm -hmm. it's not it's not as black and white as saying, uh, oh well, the 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 demon prince um, hasn't been to you know MPO, therefore mm -hmm. it's fine to go. It's yeah. I'm looking at it and going, that's true, you know, not wrong. 
However, I did paint that thing like a year ago, mm-hmm. which is where I'm like, I should be presenting new stuff, not getting the same mini out from last year and being like, here it is again. Um, that's where I'm looking at it from. Like, yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, you can re-enter the same mini. Christ, you can re-enter the same mini at the same event twice, providing, mm. with one caveat, providing you've actually bloody changed it. Like exactly. If you if you take a mini, so I'm because full disclosure, I'm doing this with the gene stealers. Like mm. I know why the gene stealers didn't do very well. Entirely my fault. I'm going to try and fix it for Adepticon and bring yeah. them with me. So Max um, has just made the point of the um, the Dark Angel and won the Slayer yeah, Neil, for the previous Neil Slay- GD. Yeah. So I saw that, and it was an incredible paint job. I saw that mm. at GD UK. Right. So this is the perfect explanation he brought that it was incredible that like, genuinely yeah. it was an amazing amazing paint job the base was massive yeah. we all were like <laughs> we're really worried this is going to cost you and then yeah. basically they turn around and said well well they literally moved it to dio didn't they yeah they moved it, and to it, dio. it couldn't compete in dio no so it was literally that that caused it he went away changed the base completely and it won the slayer sword so very deservedly if you're doing well. it for the right absolutely i agree if you do it for the right reasons then, yeah. then, then it's per- but if he had just entered Golden Demon again with exactly the same model, the same base, I'd be going, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know I, what I, I mean? Yeah. So. It, it, if, you, if there's not iteration to it, if you've not changed something, if you've not mm-hmm. had the... I mean, again, I'll just call it as I see it. If you've not had the introspection to be able to look at your own work and go, why didn't this win? And try and improve it, you're just lazy. I think there's also one other thing that we should probably discuss, right? So uh, me and Aaron, at least, we, we, we talk from a competitive mindset. We both love closed competitions, yes. right? Much more than Chris. I think that's fair to say, right? Yep. If you're going to any competition, including, including closed competitions, and you're going to see everyone and you're going to display your work, do what the hell you want. We are not going to judge you. No. Do you know what I mean? If you're entering something four times into golden demon because you're going to golden demon and you just want to show your stuff off good for you man enjoy it yeah i, I think i'd yeah. love to see him i love to see everyone's work yeah i it's think it's important to say it's not a rule it's just a no, yeah exactly think, and we're talking a, about the yeah. competitive people yeah. who are going do you know what i'm going because i want a sword yeah it's, it's i think the, yeah context behind statement like i mean you know would you ever would you ever bash on someone for turning up with a mini and just being like, oh, I just brought it so people could see it. No, absolutely not. No, Put it in the cabinet. I, I want to see it. I want to see yeah. it. But it's when, um, it's when <laughs> other people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's not mention any names. Yeah. But we all know, um, yeah. turn up and it's like, really again, come on. Um, okay. So yeah. MPO, then what's after MPO? I think, after that is Demon. GD. It yeah, is GD. Yeah. Right. How are we all feeling? It's six months till Golden Demon, right? Working off the assumption that it's the first week in May, which generally is around that time at six months. Yeah. How are we all feeling to the UK GD? I cannot I'll, feel I'll, until got, I get category ask, rules. Ask me again once Fulgrim's arrived. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. So, fair enough. Yeah. It's it's gonna it's gonna come down to full room because of the, I mean kind of touching on what Chris was talking about the the constant fucking the, those rule changes completely screwed all of my plans from the past like three yeah. four months. I like, got off lucky. Yeah, like I had a Vashtor reposed and everything. Bin. I had Death Leaper as a plan. Bin. And it's like great. All right. AOS squad whilst that's still safe um significantly weakened and not entirely clear how that's going to work mm-hmm. so the seraphon kind of got put on ice because it's like well i don't want to invest hundreds of hours into a squad to find out that oh actually the rules have changed it needs oh, to be more than especially five after seeing a certain seraphon entry oh yeah and after oh, I, <laughs> once i once i saw that seraphon entry i was like i made the right decision <laughs> oh mate, i was like yep I'm very glad I didn't bother with mine because mine's nowhere near that. Yeah, um, I think he's in chat as well. He, he is. I saw him earlier. Um, <laughs> but then even worse than that, I had a 40k squad, right? That's here yeah. in the box, ready to go. I was like, I can do that. And then they went, oh, but there's a heresy category. Are you kidding me? So they managed to wipe out my AOS squad, my 40k squad, both of my large entries, 
with one announcement. And it was like, fucking wonderful. Great. Yeah. What do I do now? Um, and you've got no category rules, so it's hard to decide what you're going to do going forward. What you even do. Which is why I've kind of settled on Horus. It wasn't planned. I literally just chucked my toys out of the pram and was just like, I'm going to paint Horus because I want it. Mm -hmm. um, and then, mm, okay, this is an entry now. And then likewise, <laughs> Fulgrim. Because, I mean, Primarchs are about the safest option you've got for heresy, right? But beyond that, it's like 40k squad. I don't. I have a horrible feeling that the, squ the numbers for squad might change. Yeah. So, yeah. so. <laughs> right. I um. I'm. I 100% agree with you. I think squad's mm. going to five. Yeah. I, I think it's going to five, which is why well, I've my just... squad entry is at five, so I'm okay. Which is why I've just gone. <laughs> whoop! No, nope, not touching it. Um, because if you. Right. I mean, for certain for certain squads, so I will say this in code, right? For certain squads that involve three rather large models, it's very easy to add two more to that without any problems. Just get just get two tiny things and put them in the background, you'll be fine. Um, but yeah, it's really scuppered like every plan I've got. So in terms of how I'm feeling, very literally ask me when Fulgrim turns up. Because if Fulgrim turns up and it's scuffed, like it's not happening, then I have no idea, man. I think at that point, my only options are Underworlds, because I've started the, the Demonettes, and Horus, and that'll be it, because I can't commit to anything else, and I'm not going to waste my time on stuff when I don't even know if I can enter it. Yeah. So, on the other end of the spectrum, I got off crazy lucky. So, yeah, I, you did. Haven't, I haven't yeah. really worked on any GD stuff other than one entry. And it didn't get screwed over. Right? Yeah, so I got off crazy lucky. I'm and, and I, I've got three entries planned, and they're all uh, in categories that are relatively safe. The the thing that really really winds me up though, and I've said this to you privately, so this is fine. The fact that the one entry you had that was like super safe, and you were like, "Yeah, but I might do something else now." It's like, so help me God, if you don't finish that bloody piece. <laughs> the, the thing is, right? So there was a lot of pressure for me to finish my Stormcast, right? No one's seen this other entry. Well, a very few, a few people, a seen few of this us entry, have. right? But I, there's never been so much pressure for me to finish anything. Like you lot will murder me if I turn up a Golden Demon without. Resolve. Mate, mate, hang on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. However, I'd like also like to point out: Do you honestly think, if for a split second, if I turned up to Golden Demon without a Fulgrim, that anyone would let me hear the end of that? No, you'd be dead. Mm. Exactly. No, you wouldn't live that down. <laughs> Cry no, me no. a river. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm nervous about MPO because I want to display. I am not nervous about GD at all. I got this, baby. I ain't worried at all. I'm pr I'm pretty casual about GD as well. Um, yeah. Another Middle Earth entry, and then I was going to do a Blood Bowl team. Now that there's a Blood Bowl category, I'm more motivated. I still don't think it's going to be a full team though for Blood Bowl. So uh, can just, I? Can I? I what I, I hope see for it. Blood Bowl, right? I so the the teams themselves are double models, right? So you get five models and they're duplicates. I want six models. That would so be you get perfect. Five models and a star player, or five yep. models and a big guy, or four that models and two beer pigs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, do you know what I mean? Like exactly. I think that would be enough, right? Because well, let's be fair, it's a marketing platform. Happy days. I don't mind that. Mm -hmm. That's enough to do, to display Blood Bowl. I don't. Do yeah, you know I, I mean? don't. I don't think there'll be an expectation for a full team because mm -hmm. that would to be blunt, that would kill it because everyone would be like, "I'm not painting eleven models." What are you on about? I like, no, but I don't think it's going to be. I I don't see Blood Bowl being single minis. It, it's going to be squads. Yeah. It has to be. As interesting as either way would be, particularly the full team, it'd be interesting to see who really takes that on. I, not yeah, many. People. I think it will be five or six <laughs> models. And, yeah, not not many people because that's. An insane amount of work. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I'm excited yeah. for it. I've got I, I, my I like halflings it. here. I like it. Like, I, yeah, I, you got I, your true. I finished the my pink pasties. pasties. Yeah. That's what I'll just throw them in. So it's all good. I'm going to fuck I, you up, Liam. Yeah. You're coming man, for me. Like, don't say that because then I'm going to have to be like, right, I'm going to have to do a proper entry because I can't be bitched out by Chris. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll never hold could you. Over. 
Of course you would. Oh, you would. <laughs> it's what we do. <laughs> I would. And they're not even my models, and I'd hold it over them. But like, you got you got beaten by a bunch of Nords painted like Manchester United. How do you feel? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, it, it would better. It would literally be better for me not to enter Blood Bowl than the risk of being losing to that. To Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Chip um, Yeah, and strangely enough, the GD is not the competition that I'm most excited for. So I missed out on SMC this year. I am determined to go to SMC next year with six entries. Yeah, and nice. I've got all of them planned. So yeah, I I will be I'll probably go to SMC whether I bring anything with me or not. No idea. I'm going to see how the rest of the year goes. As I said, my my priority is Golden Demon. Once that's done, then I'm going to have a look at the others and be like, right, let's paint some other stuff that's not. G dub stuff. I want, I've got a few busts and pieces I desperately want to paint. I've got to finish my ne bloody Neko Galaxy thing. But that's all post GD problems. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, what do we think of Fen this year? With the changes to Fen. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm really confused by Fen. I love Fen. I've been an advocate of Fen yeah. since it first started because I want more open comps. I'm really confused by Fen this year. So for anyone who mm. doesn't know, Fen is going to two days. I, I can see why they need to do that, right? My logic is it was so big, they struggled to judge it, yeah. right? So they needed a second day. Fair enough if that's the case. Yeah. But what they've done is day one, they're judging standard and they're judging young bloods. Day two, they're judging masters, right? So they're now splitting it into single standard and masters. Ooh, no. But why? Most people are not going to hang around for day two in masters, no. right? Most people are not going to enter masters. It's going to be smaller. And it's not being enforced. So why is someone going to pay a hotel and everything, st spend an extra day just to enter Masters for the chance of not winning a trophy? Granted, that trophy is worth more. But when they could just enter Standard and, and do it in one day, I'm confused. Do they yeah. have more judges for next year? Because I don't think more sounds is like a problem. double the work, which makes it a lot harder. I think the problem is time. When I went up there and they were judging, it looked chaotic as hell. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. I, 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 I don't think. Yeah, I don't think more people is the answer. I think, mm -hmm. as Liam said, more time so that decisions aren't perhaps quite as snappy um, would help. Um, I don't. I just straight up don't. I just don't understand why they've done that. Yeah, I'm confused. I don't get it. I mean, I I'll, I'll, full, full disclosure, it makes absolutely no difference to me because You're not going, I, are you? I'm not going. I'm at a music festival, so yeah. it makes no odds to me. But in terms of the event, like having been there, like Fen was, Fen was really good. Like it was a good was day. A great event. But my con my concern is if you're there for two days. Like day one, you turn up, you drop your models off. Everyone has a look round, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Everyone marvels at the massive spaceships that just take up half the room. <laughs> That's um, going to be a meme forever. I tell yeah, you. it is. Um, obviously, you hang around, you have a drink, you go out for dinner, and things like that. Then you get to day two, and it's like, what do we do now? <laughs> yeah, the thing <laughs> is, like, right? I, I live twenty minutes away from Fen, right? Yeah. So I can do two days, but if yeah. I had to get a hotel. I would either not enter or I would just enter standard and go for one day. And this is coming from someone who genuinely believes if you should be in masters, you should be entering masters. But 150 quid for a hotel for a night, 100 to 150 quid for a hotel for a night. No, I'm sorry. Why? Well, I'm just, yeah, I'm just really thing. conflicted. Um, I can only go to so many, I can only go to so many competitions next year, given I'm meant to be organizing a wedding. Uh, yeah. However, don't worry. She would, have, are, she would have. She would have. She would have. Right in my herself opinion. by then. <laughs> yeah. I. I. <laughs> I guess one one thing they could do. I mean, but then I don't. I think they need another venue. Is another issue here because if they want to go mm. for two days, in my opinion, if you've got people there for two days and you want to give people a reason to stay for two days, you need to have more than just the comp. Yeah. Because once you've seen it on day one, you've seen it. Because whilst Fen was it's getting big, it's not that big. Um, so maybe the answer is 
trial this, see how it goes, if it continues to grow new venue and start doing things like workshops or seminars. Give people a reason to stay. Because mm-hmm. it's not like, I mean, it's not like there's a shortage of talent there, right? There's just about everyone in the UK was, you know, who's a even like a half decent, let alone professional painter, was there. So it's not yeah. that they'll have a they don't have access to people that would be willing to do it. But yeah. No, I don't yeah. know what there is Odd to one. do in the town of Eli. Or it's pubs in a river. It's called. Yeah, that's about um, it. Yeah. There's only so many pints I can drink in one weekend. Yeah. I'm not sure about that one. Yeah. I... <laughs> I'm conflicted this time. And you guys know how positive I've been about it all this time. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a good event. Yeah. Like I it's enjoyed it. Event. I I would happily go again, but apart from this year, because there's no way I'm missing that festival. Um, mm. But yeah, I don't know. That's that seems like an odd odd one. I mean, I hope it goes well. Um, mm. But yeah, bit of a head scratcher. What's so, after? Because Fen's in the summer. Oh, yeah, August. Shit, well, I think the, it's around the... the same time as Contrast. Well, Contrast, I think, is July, uh, which is. <sighs> One I'm planning to go to next year. That one's in Poland. In yeah, if I'm going to SMC, I'm not going to Poland. I'm I'm only doing one over uh, overseas comp, and that'll be SMC for me. So for, I've got four comps planned for next year. Yeah, I, I would like to go to Contrast. Contrast is one I keep uh, keep sleeping on. Like, I always I know it exists. It looks amazing. It does. It looks really good. And every single year, I find out about it afterwards and go, Oh yeah, I knew I meant to go. Oh, there was something I meant yeah. to do. And, yeah. it like, and it happens every time. Like for the past yeah. couple of years, I always see the stuff afterwards and go, oh yeah, I knew I meant to put something in the calendar. It looks like a proper high quality comp, doesn't it? It's really, really good. Yeah. Like the standard yeah, over there is very high. It very, very a lot high. about Polish painters being very technical. And mm-hmm. a lot of the Polish painters, I love to see their work in, in person. Yes. Like people like Land Studio. Mm. Yes. Um, that'd be a big, yeah. big uh, benefit for me. Um, but I also have a friend at Sim Warsaw, so I do have more bias and motivation to go. That's fair. Um, but I am keen, I mean, not just because I got a medal. So where are so event wise, where are we all going next year then? Uh, Who's going to what for sure? Well, one hundred percent, it will be obviously Adepticon for me. Mm-hmm. Um, UK Golden Demon. Whenever we find out where the hell that even is or when it is, I reckon that'll be in Nottingham. I think it'll be Nottingham and I think it'll we'll be May Bank Holiday. Um, but yeah, those those two, 100%. Um, I'd like to get to SMC, even if yeah. I don't enter. I'd like to enter, but we'll see how the rest of the year pans out. Um, but SMC for sure. Um, if I could justify it, I don't know if I'd be able to justify SMC and Contrast because that's getting a bit bit expensive. Um, but I would like to do Contrast. They're, they're the one, big ones for me. I would say Fen, but I know I'm not going to be there. Mm-hmm. That's fair. I, I'm probably doing uh, MPO if it's in Bristol. Um, Golden Demon, Contrast, SMC. Not sure about Fen. Um, I would like to go to help support you know, more local comps. I say local, it's a pain for me to get to. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully DiddyCon next month's a success, and there's probably that for next year as well. Mm. so so for two me, abroad and yeah as many as the ones here good. so for me Fen obviously uh, MPO so Bristol um, is a definite assuming I can get tickets because we don't know how big it's going to be Golden Demon is obvious yeah. absolutely going to SMC I'm not missing it again there's a very small possibility I'll be going to Nova Ooh. Um, there's a very small possibility that I'll be going to Nova next year um and obviously Did, DiddyCon is it I'm torn with I, I don't know how to answer about DiddyCon next year because obviously I'm judging this year I'm looking forward to judging but I actually would like to enter so we get another DiddyCon next year I'll obviously be going no matter what but I don't know if I'll be entering or judging so Kane but, just oh, mentioned yeah. mentioned one which we have all completely overlooked and we should all be deeply ashamed Oh, no one has mentioned Mont San Savino. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we, I was I was going to bring this up. My problem is, right, for me, I can only get to one in Europe, and it's it's a choice of Monty, where I'm going to be sitting around socialising with 
lots of people that I like, and there's also lots of people that I don't like. Um, and there's not much else to do other than socializing. <laughs> Whereas if I go to SMC, like who, Liam? <laughs> if I go to SMC, it's a much bigger event. I still get to socialize with the people that I want and I can easily avoid the people that I don't want to see. And there's loads to do. Do you know what I mean? And I don't mean to be funny. I can, I, I can easily turn SMC into like three or four days in Amsterdam with the wife and then a couple of days in Eindhoven with the wife. Whereas if I go to Italy, it's expensive. It's long flights. Like, I, I don't mean to be funny, but Monty's just not doing it for me at the moment. So what I'm hearing is he's not coming to your stag do, Chris, which is frankly <laughs> just rude. But right. Get out of That's my head. entirely different, right? Because <laughs> if I'm going on my own to your stag do, right, cheap flights, I can sleep in a prison and there's too much opportunity to screw with you. I ain't missing it. Oh, I was very worried how you're going to finish that sentence. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <I was> like, <laughs> uh, uh, prison and then immediately followed by screw. It's like, I... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I so, probably, yeah. Can't, probably can't do Monty next year. It is a pipe dream of mine to, to go. I do have a cheat code in taking Lara with me. Um... <laughs> Not just for speaking Italian balls as she drives, because I'm an idiot. Um, so I do want to go. Just I'm not sure next year. I think after all the wedding and the other two European ones, I think probably hold off until 2025 and see how. It really depends how my painting goes next year. Like if I'm feeling confident and being productive, <laughs> then I'll probably target Monty. But it, the yeah, thing it seems is, like though, the, the by that one. point you've got World Model Expo. Mm. Yeah, which yeah. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? That changes the conversation. That's the World Cup. Yeah, that's the other one I keep forgetting about until it's too late. Yeah, I'm not in missing Paris. Paris. Oh, not a chance. Nah. Why Paris? Why not London? Uh, really? So I'm given the choice, that. given the choice, you're like, nah, I'd rather go to London, mate. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't could get a... No. To go to Paris and the work and get my hotel paid for. That'd be nice. Ooh, that's an idea. I didn't even think of that. What? Just be like, yeah, I, I, that's how I get the contrast. That's how I get the yeah. contrast. And just go, yeah, yeah I, need to, I need to go visit the Polish distributor. Definitely. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> On this very yeah. specific weekend. Uh, it's research uh, and development. Uh, right. Boys, yeah. <laughs> we missed salute. Uh, right. Yeah, so, yeah. so I my answer will probably be wildly offensive. So, does anyone else want to uh, go I'll over this salute? way? I'll put it this so, way: uh, I like it to see my friends, and it's close by. That's it. I concur. Okay, for me, <laughs> I'd have more enjoyment pulling my own fingernails out. And that was me being polite. <laughs> I mean, we That's went fine. to the pub. We went to the pub this year, and there's yeah, another is... no name event that we also did the same last year. Mate, that salute! Yeah, exactly. Like we, the best part about salute was we went to the pub. Yeah. Right. And don't get me wrong, I loved going to salute because we weren't at salute. Right. <laughs> Went to the fucking pub and we had a great time. Went back to salute and it was shit. Anyway, I'm gonna stop. My bad. Right? I was trying to be polite. It's I fine to leave it, it at the toenails. We're good. It's, it, it's it's fine. This is going on his YouTube. It, they, they won't bring it back to us. It's okay. Yeah, Don't worry about it, Chris. True. It's all on me. <laughs> yeah. So I'm my sorry, it's, no. yeah. So so my name is Cryo Cheese. Uh, the ginger above me is. Uh... <laughs> 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 I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I just don't care. It is so bad. Right. I mean, the I'd, thing is, I... the, only, the only saving grace, right? And I will say this there was some really, really amazing people on their with, with on the stalls. Yes. There was like some of the, the, the companies that were there were great. And there were some incredible people that I met there. None of them had anything to do with salute. Like, yeah, it's it's a it's a mixed bag because I remember that. So I've only I've only actually been to one salute, and that was twenty twenty two. I want to say, mm. um, yeah. and 
it was not what I was expecting, like at all. Um, uh, yeah, but it's it's just, I remember at the time kind of being a bit like, oh well, yeah, they don't really they don't really cater for painters. It's all war gaming. It's all tabletop. But having been to more events now, that's fairly normal. Like the the, the SMCs and things like that are the outlier. Salute is more normal than I think we give it credit for. How, apart from the yep. painting competition, where there are definite areas for an improvement, I think would be <laughs> the diplomatic way of putting it. Um, which is Again, a shame, I'm... because it's, in some ways, in some ways, it's kind of analogous to uh, the US Golden Demon last year, right? Where there are some fantastic entries, completely overshadowed by some people making some hilariously bad decisions. Yeah. Um, again, I think that's one thing that SMC did well. There was one hall for sort of the bus and the bigger stuff, more painterly stuff, let's call it. Yeah. Um, and another big hall for like war gaming stuff, model kits, um, his historic things and tools and paints and whatnot. There's a good spread of, of both sides of the hobby, let's call it. Uh, yeah. And we're not saying salute is wrong or leaning towards another side it's just you know she's not for us no it's not a problem she's not for us no well, and like if if it if it had been i mean it, it if it had been like warhammer fest right where for us as painters there's basically bugger all to do like there's just nothing but competition was actually really good like i've got no complaints really about how they actually managed and ran golden demon it was good what a salute no, not salute, golden demon, oh, you mug. Right, 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 right. I thought you were talking about salute. I was no, like, no, 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 they need to do better with that competition. Yeah. Right. Just, 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 and I'm not going to rant, right? But. He's going to rant. He's definitely going to rant. <laughs> it's going to rant. So <laughs> I'm not going to rant. The fucking, when they called out the awards, right? They, it was tucked away in this little oh, shack yeah. little place. No one knew they were calling out the awards, right? Yeah. People won and they didn't even know. Like, what the fuck? It was ridiculous. It was just an absolute... There was models that were just not even touched. No, I'm not going to rant. I'm not going to rant. Rant, just rant, like, rant, there was rant, some problems, rant, right? rant, 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 rant. To say the least, <laughs> it was... It was lacking. Yeah. No, I, I, I think it would be fair. And uh, the, the other thing to remember as, remember as well, and in some ways, I again broken record i bring everything back to golden demon i'm i'm a very simple man i have one goal and it's always the same thing um but i get the impression that where you see where we see issues in competitions like this it's normally born of miscommunication between the people that have the passion and the people that run it because mm -hmm. if they didn't want to do an event or they didn't want to do a competition they just wouldn't so clearly someone there wants to do it and that person just needs to be listened to and maybe you know listen to some other people as well rather than just winging it no it sounds like at salute this year there was a certain judge who was kind of overruling others yeah, really? really hard to be believed um hmm. particular judge that favors a particular style as well uh, anyway Anyway, Ooh. I have to Spicy. be careful because he's a friend of mine. I'm not getting involved in this one. So Ooh. let you know who it is. Oh, yeah. oh as, soon, as soon as we end this episode. <laughs> <laughs> there is tea and I have not been served it. So I am, I am now, I am expecting. Fair enough. I am expecting. I mean, every comp's got its flaws, right? This yeah. is one thing that I would say. 
Yeah, for sure. No, no event is perfect. Like there, nothing is ever perfect. There's always something that goes wrong. There's always some judging decision that someone will disagree with, even though they weren't there and didn't actually see the model in person and only looked at pictures on Instagram and formed an opinion entirely based on that. Like it matters, um, you know. Yeah. But at the same time, well, I think it's fair to call things out when they could be better. But before yeah, so- we get into yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm moving on a little bit. I'm curious what you guys have got planned. So we know, Erin, you talked about your Horus and yep. Fulgrim. Yeah. What else? Is is there any time to actually... Let's put this put this realistically for chat. Like, Is there any time to do anything else next year other than Fulgrim? And chat, <laughs> no. I'm assuming <laughs> chat is going to back me up when I say Fulgrim's wings should be painted like scrotum. <sighs> I don't know if I want to paint them like a giant ball sack, all right? Right, it's got to I'm... be done, right? <laughs> Listen, if you Sorry. grab a scrow and you just pull it apart like a bat wing, you've got your reference, right? I'll it's demonstrate. literally, it's called... <laughs> How do you know right? so much? Because <laughs> I... <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> Anyone in chat got any references? <laughs> no, like, joke, jokes aside, like I genu- I genuinely don't know what I'm going to do with the wings. I, I've got, I've got a skin recipe that I know works. Right, I know it works. I'm doing it with the demonettes, and I, I could just use that. But there's also a part of me that's like, yeah, but they should be translucent, and you should like, I should, I, I there's part of me that kind of wants to give it a go. Scrotum's translucent. No, not a trans. Oh my god! <laughs> I'll stop. Minis, I'll you <laughs> each reckon you'll paint to a comp standard <laughs> next year? I'll, so I'll be happy uh, if I do four personally. Okay, so have you got any plans for like what those? For, what would you like to do? Like in an ideal world, mm. talking about the projects that you guys would like to do, yep. what would they be? Okay, so oh, he's, yeah, he's if, if if I had unlimited time, and I could just like just quit the day job and just paint, right? It would be Fulgrim with no no hesitation. Um, I would like to get the Demonettes finished because they are genuinely really nice models. But there's also the Neko Galaxy Is that the bust, new, the, the new Fat Bird one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're amazing. They're really nice. Even the other two, I wasn't bothered by the other two, and then I got mm. them here, and I was like, actually, these are all really nice. Um, I want to finish the Neko Galaxy piece because I love that piece, but I just can't justify painting it. Um, and then there's at least two in that cup- cupboard behind me. Um, I've got the Witch Horn bust, which I've been sat on for uh, yeah. ages, and just that's again, the woman with the hood, isn't it? The yeah, it's hood. The, yeah, yeah, with yeah. the really pointy hat. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was the mini that I bought and kind of went, I'll paint it when I'm good enough. Mm-hmm. it was one of those models right and yeah, yeah. now I'm sat there going idiot you should have just painted it so I want to paint that uh, and there's another piece in there I forgot I even had until the other day um, from uh, in I think it's in motion miniatures it's the, mm-hmm. it's the big vampire samurai on the, like the, the mountain of heads with the two katana oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. you got that I've got that you got and I was like minutes. I saw that I was like oh yeah I forgot about this so yeah, I'm kind of I kind of want to have a go at that yeah, I think you'd do a, a, a good job on that one, actually. Well, not that you wouldn't do a good job on everything, but it's right up the street. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's that's yeah. that's something that would suit you. Yeah, so I, I, mean I kind of... If, if I had the time, which mm. I probably will not, um, not for competition standards anyway, mm. um, they'll, they'll be the ones I'll be looking at. Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay. Go on, Chris. What about you? Uh, I'm going to do the Frandrill uh, for Golden Demon. Uh, Middle Earth entry. What's that? Um, it's a sort of an elven armored elven. Oh my fuck! It's Lord of the Rings, isn't it? I just said Middle Earth <laughs> penis. So that, so that's what? currently being stripped from last year. Um, and then it's Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Lord of the Rings. Oh, Middle Earth. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love how he has win. this reaction. Right, to you painting Lord of the Rings, but when I said I'm going to paint a Fulgrim, it's just like, yeah, this is fine. Oh, no, I'm going to paint a tiny little fucking man on a horse. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Right. Just paint the eyes this time. I don't like things I'm too stupid to understand. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, that one. I want to do an Amazon Blood Bowl team for Judy, assuming mm. it's a let's say half size squad. That I would really um, like to see you do, actually. I think I'd have fun with that. Yeah. Either way, um, and I've got a I've got two seventy five mils. I want to do. I'm going to get started on. Pretty soon, there's the big child elven archer lady that's kind of jumping back and shooting her bow. That's all good to go. I actually do want to do the chaos dude that we were meant to do on a, the last yes. one of this. So yeah. you just ooh, okay. you just reminded me of two minis that I completely overlooked. That chaos dude is one of them. We all need to paint that because yeah, that's yes, been no. sat in cupboards for over a year now. The yeah. other one. That big child barbarian. I don't have it, but I want it. What one's that? Uh, it's one of the new ones. It's a 75 mil barbarian. It's well, incredible. It big child do loads of barbarians. <laughs> Next. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab the link. Hang on. Uh, and yeah, um, well, got while Aaron's doing that, on a bus I would well. like to see you prioritise that Blood Bowl team. As soon as we have category rules, Chris, like... I, I so I've, I've said this to you before. I think you are your strengths lie in larger scale stuff. When you paint large scale stuff, it's incredible, right? Absolutely incredible. Um, but I'd really like to see you paint the Amazon team. Yeah, yeah. I uh, that would be my main entry if uh, the rules give me some yeah. uh, some early way. Yeah. Cause am I fuck doing a full team? Not a chance. No, no, no. I wouldn't either. Oh, I haven't seen this. That's pretty. <gasps> Let's do this one instead. No, we've already no, got one. No. <laughs> <laughs> you love we've already so got one. Pretty. This one's He's better, cool. though. It oh, is better. It's so it... much better. I don't want to paint that shit one. Let's do this one. We've no, already think, got the other one. The old one's better. I mean, you're wrong, Chris, but in fact, you're both <laughs> wrong because we're painting the old one and this one is better. Right. You, you lot are just being fucking responsible. Oh, well. we've already bought the other one. Yeah, have you seen the have you seen the price tag on this one? Ah, sixty-five euros. Uh, yeah, plus plus right, let's do plus shipping. Yeah, yeah there we the go. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I looked. This one. I looked. Well, look, I'm gonna put like when we get round to it as well because I don't mean to be funny. I ain't squeezing it in before SMC. You wait, wait, you're squeezing what? In? Excuse me. The barbarian. Oh, okay. Squeezing it in where? <laughs> Your ass. Any? Please don't be me. <laughs> uh right anyway yeah cool yeah so should we wrap it up there then for the what about me you didn't oh, yeah. show the you know the so my only one <laughs> no, that i really care, want though, do we? <laughs> yeah that's yeah, all right we you do we have guys it's nah. been a great day. Uh, have a story. good one to show it off. <laughs> it's the sculpt from leela uh how mad would you be no, if i said i've that. actually lost the link <laughs> oh you're such a bad it's in the discord I genuinely I looked up and I was like, "That's fine. I've have still got it. I don't have it. Useless. <laughs> Useless. It should be in the right. Discord chat. Right. It's fine. It's fine. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. It's I've got literally it. one of the most amazing models. You have to show it to everyone. I'm, I'm doing it. It's coming. Well, it's hurry coming. The fuck up. There I have go. no control Look. over the stream delay. <laughs> Look at this. People have got lives to go back to. This is incredible, right? And just the sculpt on that form, like. It's just amazing. Look at the calf as she comes around. Is this nice. is my this is literally my goal for next year. Just just to do this. Yeah. Although you say that, mm. what about? Uh, what, 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 I can't. I can't. I can't say. Too yeah, much. it will be done. Oh my god, it will be done. I'll no, get it yeah. done. No, 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 no. No, no, no. It not the other one. I'll get done as well. Not, not the one that's mandatory. Because if you don't finish it, like there'll be hell to pay. The other I'm one, on the about green the, one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, that'll be done as well. But are you going to get two versions of it? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I'm not getting a naked version, no. Oh, uh, fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So the intention with this is, I want to do the fabric clear because it's obviously going to be wet. I'm going to paint her underwater, and I want, like, the rays of light. Why is it going to be wet? surface of the water. Because she's underwater. She's okay. literally underwater. That's not what I meant, but carry on. <laughs> Dickhead. 
so yeah um i'm terrified of it but it's just it's just too amazing not to do it it's an incredible sculpt it is lovely yeah. i mean she's a phenomenally talented sculptor she's well. an incredible sculptor yeah like, especially with 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 women like female form when she sculpts them just incredible well, so, yeah. Seb says he already had Look the idea, that. so that means he can't do it, Liam. I don't give a shit. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about doing the same thing. You just got to do it better than me, Seb. Because I mean... no one remembers the shit version. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I don't believe that, and no. I wouldn't say that to anyone else but Seb. <laughs> <laughs> See how it is. Look at the rear of that car. Sure. Look at the muscle on that fucking leg. It's just amazing. It is a phenomenally good sculpt. It's beautiful. But the, the that con the concept that you had uh, uh, earlier with the um, like submerged, but with that wreckage overhead, mm. that is going to be such an oh, it's going to be a disaster. <laughs> are you it's thinking? Going to be a disaster. Are you thinking backdrop? Because bear in mind, this this yeah. came up yeah. when we were talking about shadow of colors, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, backdrop. Big old backdrop. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Absolutely, it's got to be done. Because I think the backdrop will help with that concept. Because without it, you run the risk of it being like, why is she on fire? Yeah, Whereas yeah, this is exactly it. I think you, it'll work. You need the backdrop for the light to follow through as well, because it's going to have like this whole idea of these rays of light coming through the water. Mm. Um, yeah, they've got like the god rays. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, exactly. But it's just, it's just, even without that idea, there, this is got to be, in my opinion, the best sculpt of the year. Like technically, it's the best sculpt of the year. Oh, the figure, right. the form okay. on that model, like the detail in that sculpt is just incredible. Look at the crease, right? Uh, on her hips, above the thigh. Look at the little folds of fat on her hips, right? It's amazing, right? If that's fat, then no, 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 right there, literally <laughs> that shape, right? It's amazing. Wish I had that fat. <laughs> it's, it's amazing absolutely incredible yeah it's, it's great mm -hmm. yeah and, and like and as you said technically in terms of like anatomical like it's yeah. pretty much flawless yeah i agree the only thing that i don't like is i don't like the sodding bra it annoys me like that pattern so, the shape whatever the folds is going on with that fabric over the oh, breast that annoys right me. i i thought you were going to say it's, it's too many layers oh <laughs> 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 not enough steps don't like not enough it. steps yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh mate anyway so yeah so this is literally this will be the hardest Oop. miniature and you guys know what i've got to paint this year this will be the hardest oh. miniature that i paint that was my bad i, I can't right. get that <laughs> but yeah rude <laughs> dead to me it is like the fod star uh -huh. again yeah, <laughs> it's just end stream delete VOD. Pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> it's lovely. It's the, the bit that's interesting though is it's just whilst it's lovely, it's uh -huh. not something I would ever paint. This is proper marmite. This is clearly right up my street, mm. right? But it's most loads of people that I've spoken to is just like I'd never touch that. Yeah, I'd I'd never paint. I'm that. of that opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, I would love to be able to paint it one day. Yeah. And Seb's taking really the piss and going statement. no airbrush as well and actually like he's trying to wind me up but I wouldn't touch this with an airbrush. <laughs> no, because you'd be too busy butchering touch your makeup airbrush. brushes. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> and you lot think I'm joking. I'm not. No, I, you... I genuinely wouldn't do this with makeup brushes. I would do this with, with a normal brush because it'd have to be smooth. And what's ridiculous is I would paint this more closer to how you paint. Because this, just... this, this needs just... to be smooth. Like the, the texture would be so subtle and selective. Is is Liam gonna Liam gonna paint something smooth? Mate, one of my GD entries. Style. One of my GD entries is gonna be smooth. Bear yeah. in mind we know we know what entries you've got. I will... Have I told you about the new one? I don't see it. The new one? Wait, you've got another <laughs> wait, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really a new one. So I've got the um the, the black talons, which I'm obviously gonna paint up because oh. I love them, but I've got the yeah. older one. The elder one. Google one. Yeah, so you remember oh, ages yeah, ago I was playing with the Farseer and the Warlocks. Yeah. Um so I'm I'm going to continue with that. But it's got some guardians in there now as well. Right. 
So you're going 40k squad? Yeah. 40k squad, AOS squad. So 40k squad, AOS squad. Um, mm. assuming, other... assuming, assuming it all comes together properly, obviously. Oh, I was um, going to say, and the other, uh, yeah. the secret one. Uh, everyone knows it's AOS large. Oh, okay. The, so AOS squad, AOS large, 40k squad. Yes. Uh... I'm aiming for three. If I have two to a proper standard, I'll be happy. So open is not happening then. If open happens, oh, yeah. it happens, right? But I'm not forcing it because that model would, if anything, would be better for SMC. Yeah, and it's no, always I, I the agree. year after. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. I think it'd be better. I think it would be weirdly, mm -hmm. despite the IP, I actually think it'd be appreciated more at SMC. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. So. I mean, to be fair, three um, is a long shot, but I have three. If I go with two, I'll be over the moon. But one of them, I have to get that AOS large unit done, that AOS large model done. Yes, you do. Because if you don't, yeah. we are never going to let you hit the end of that. I don't think you... my wife is either. She's proper like, yeah. Yeah. you got to do that one. Yeah, I will. I'll get it done. But anyway, yeah. happy days, eh? <laughs> Uh, so many secrets. So many secrets. Yes. The only reason that it's a secret, I've said this to you before, is because if I can't do it and I screw it up, I don't have to explain to anyone. Well, yeah, I don't but have to explain that, to many people. So this is see this is the okay. This this could be another. This could be another a quick one. Just a, right, a right. quick one before we before we wrap up. Then, mm. so I can understand why you've kept the the secret one secret, but you're past the point where if it was going to go badly wrong, it would have gone badly wrong by this point, right? True. It's fairly safe. True. Now. However, then we get into the territory of <laughs> so do you keep it super secret for maximum impact or do you just be like, here's the thing, this is what I'm painting. Post the whips. What do you think? Because I've had this very thought. And it's not like I've been like, oh my god, this is an absolute secret, right? I've shown people on courses, I've shown you mm. guys. Do you know what the WhatsApp group that we're in? I've, yep. I've shown those, like Baz has seen it, because I've got his fit. Like, loads of people have seen it. I just haven't put it on the internet yet. Oh, so well, we talked know. about this with the whole David Soper um, Nurgle tank. Nurgle tank. Is, yeah. yeah, it's two extremes to it. It's exposing it too much and for too long, and then there's, you know, leaving it right to the very end. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. once and you get off to a good start and you're happy with it and you're motivated by the fact that you're liking where it's going... I think yeah. that's probably a good time. The it, problem with that is, least. yeah, and that that well, that was the intention after our discussion. But the reality is, I'm probably not going to get painting on it until February, at least, maybe March. Do you yeah, know what I mean? I'd so it's that it's that long away. <sighs> Ooh. So you got two months. Yeah, three months. That is that yeah, is. Yeah, but bold. what you don't realize, like, I I have two months set aside for it, like two months of work. Right, yeah. I can do eight okay. hours a day, four hours in the evening. I can do twelve hours a day on it for two months. Okay, but hear me out. Right, so the AOS large entry, yeah, is the important one. That's the important one. Yeah. So why not do that earlier, so that if it does go a bit peat tong. You've got time to fix it, and it's not because I can't take it to MPO. Because it's it's not just about Golden Demon; it's about the season, and I need to have a display for MPO. Mm, I guess, but then we but then we then we cycle mm. back to priorities, right? Mm -hmm. How bad? How bad do you want that demon? So my what's really interesting, do you know, what? I found this quite a healthy attitude this year. I've been in a really, really good place for six months consistent. Uh, and that, that comes in with, with a lot of things. It comes with eating healthy and working out and all that sort of stuff. But my, I, I kind of made this decision a month in after the last Golden Demon where I was going to stop truly chasing demons and I was going to go and aim for the sword. Every comp, my outlook is I'm aiming for best of show. And what, right. that, what that seems to have done is it doesn't actually matter because as long as I take something... And I'm aiming for best in show, then I might get something. <laughs> then the comp, the, the nothing, nothing else matters because if I take a squad and I'm aiming for best in show, 
if I'm aiming for best in show, I'm going to aim, I'm going to paint as well as I can physically paint. And it's a small thing, but it changes my mindset on these things. Yeah, yeah. But and the, all of a sudden, the trophies no longer become important. The bit that's really weird, right, Shoot. is just even hearing you say that mm-hmm. gives me anxiety, let alone <laughs> actually sitting yeah. down and trying Ryan's to paint with that. Behalf. Yeah, when it's like, yeah, no, I'm going to paint the secret entry. Yeah, and I'm going for the sword with it. It's like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd have i'd be painting that now like <laughs> well the, not the in reason, march so so the big thing is i still have to finish some of the sculpting and the conversion yeah um and i'm trying to take lots of time breaks between sections to reflect on it and make sure i get it right so by doing that at the very least i'm probably not going to finish that sculpt until end of january really so even if i was to go even if I was to go right, let's 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 get start painting as early as possible. I'm still not going to be painting it until February. I didn't think there was that much left to do. There's the whole connection point. Like, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. There is a lot. Yeah. A lot. It's just none of it's none of the danger points now. I've 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 sculpted yeah. the hardest parts. Do you know what I mean? Now it's just making sure it fits with the GW aesthetic. That's the difficulty. Because if it goes and doesn't fit that that aesthetic, it's pointless. I I, I don't think you're going to have any issue with that. I, I don't everyone's think you'll probably have... going mental, going, "What the fuck are they talking about? What are you? What what even is the <laughs> entry?" I feel like I should just show it. To be honest with you, yeah, your big your big tart. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think you've got any issue with it not fitting within IP. I, I, mm. That's a complete non-issue. I, honestly, the the only way that that doesn't fit in with IP is if you get the makeup brushes out. Like it, the, the sculpt <laughs> is fine. I've got no issue, no concerns with that. So what you're saying is don't paint it shit. He's gonna go through about yeah. seven makeup brushes for that. Yeah. Do you know what? What's ridiculous? Because of the nature of it, I would probably stipple the entire thing from like literally the beginning. Oof. Could you imagine? It's, it's, it's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see if it works. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's going to be a lot of work. I will start as soon as possible. Yeah. I do have tune into the next podcast when he reveals it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's the clickbait that just keeps going on forever. <laughs> yeah. Tune in next time so to see true. Liam's secret entry. <laughs> and we just find so increasingly, clever. yeah, increasingly stupid things to say that, you know, oh, it's it's clearly this, but it's, it's not. I can't believe the balls are so big in that model. <laughs> I, I, should, pendulous. I should sculpt a scrote, shouldn't I? <laughs> Anatomically correct. It wouldn't that be as would big a scrote as Fulgrim, so. Penis. No, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> would be a big On penis, that note. Though. Yeah. So... I guess we should probably wrap it up there then. Mm, what the penis or the show? <laughs> <laughs> ah, right. <laughs> we got end on a high. <laughs> yeah. Shit. So, thank you very much, everyone. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it. If not, don't tell us. We don't want to know. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. But yeah. We'll I'll be tell you back... what, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, before we do oh, that, because this oh, is going on YouTube as well, oh, guys. Yeah. If you are watching this on YouTube later on, please go give AC Miniatures a follow. The links will be in the description below. Same as Crispy Minis, both of which, well, Chris has got an Instagram. <laughs> AC Miniatures also teaches as well as I do. So make sure you go and check out his Ko-Fi. Yeah, Ko-Fi. It's Ko-Fi, isn't it? Yeah. Ko-Fi. Well, I, don't, I don't even know how you say it, that thing. No, I don't. But make sure you go give it a follow. All right. So yeah, anyway, now you can do yeah. your goodbyes. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, goodbye and hi YouTube. We didn't we, we didn't do that part. <laughs> we didn't do that at the beginning. We've got to get better on that. Yeah. Right. So we'll be back next month. We'll confirm a date for next month. Um in a you know, couple of days. Um we'll get together and figure out where we're all free. And we'll just put a date in the calendar for the next one. Uh we'll put out announcements for what the topics will be, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um and yeah, keep your eyes peeled on Discord, because somewhere in Discord one of us will have a channel that will just be for VOD stuff. Or vodcast stuff, sorry, uh, for suggestions and ideas and things like that. But on that note, we'll find somewhere to go and drop you lot off, I guess. So have a look at who's online. We've got Mr. Solway Studios, super chill guy, a genuinely lovely, lovely person. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm going to go drop you off over there. Uh, and yeah, catch you all later. Thanks Don't do anything everyone. we wouldn't do. Love you. Cheers, guys. Thanks for hanging out. See you later. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.